Hello and welcome to the Legendary Frogcast Play D&D Together. I am your host, Joseph Blanchett. And uh, Mark is going to be back in the DM's chair for the next couple of episodes um, because he uh, DM'd a a one-shot for us, which took a really long time, so I decided to split it up in two. Um, It's a Spelljammer um, DM's Guild Adventure League game called Last Flight of the Orca. According to the cover here, it's made by a guy named Brendan Watson. And you can find it on DMs Guild. Search for Last Flight of the Orca, or check out the link in the description. Um, this is kind of a horror, like a space cosmic horror themed um, adventure that's um, in the in the Spelljammer uh, wild space setting. And uh, I know Mark's been wanting to run this for a while. So um, when he wanted to get back into kind of a DMing again, he, he took a little break. He wanted to run this for us. Um, so returning for this game is... Um, from the Spelljammer game, uh, myself and Dustin are going to be playing our characters Otto and, and Gort. Um, but Mark was also DMing another Spelljammer game at the same time. And, uh, and Jess from that game is joining us from this one shot playing her character Harmony. Um, so since that show was never recorded, there was a lot of references that we didn't really get with the character. Uh, but Bun is also here playing a character named Pierce. And um, this is a uh, kind of a horror-themed um, adventure, even though, like, we don't make it that scary. If you are sensitive to, to blood and kind of body horror stuff, then, uh, you know, it may not be the adventure for you. But um, we, we had a good time. Uh, we leveled up to level 13 in this game, so it's kind of a higher level adventure than any of us are used to. And um, enjoy this, uh, two, the two episodes of Last Flight of the Orca. And goodbye. Welcome to the legendary frog cast plays thing. I don't know what you call it now. Uh, wow. Welcome, everybody. This is. We are playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the last flight of the Orca. A uh, Spelljammer uh, Adventures League adventure, or at least a, a dungeon uh, DMS guild adventure. Um, so we'll have potentially body horror sort of thing so it's not too gruesome nothing if you're fine with things like the thing or aliens and whatnot it should be okay um well you should describe it in excruciating detail (laughs) i'll do what i can if anything does bother somebody and this is of course anything even you know like like an animal gets hurt or something which i don't do feel free to just use a use one of the safety cards or just say something or blah 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 so But in any case, if we are all ready, uh, we will begin on the Rock of Brawl. Now, anybody who has been following along should know that uh, we did Spelljammer. I did two groups of Spelljammer, and both Joey and Dustin were in one group, and Jess and Bun were in another group. So, they both also did the same thing. So we're going to pretend that maybe didn't quite happen. I don't know. We'll see. (laughs) But... And as always, if the music is too loud, let me know, and I will turn it down. It is a little loud. There we go. Okay. Because when I set them up, I don't set them up with my headphones on, and they get louder when your headphones are on. So. They might be too soft. Oh, I, we, we have volume bars, too. <laughs> we all we begin our adventure on the Rock of Brawl, essentially a floating spaceport city sort of thing um, that floats around wild space. Our adventurers... Uh, all basically taken say refuge on the the rock or maybe you're visiting or or just they are essentially here for the time being you have all taken on a job separately or together depending on uh which of you know each other to essentially be protectors for a ship full of dowar uh dowar are penguin folk and as you're gathering at the dock, you see a giant ship that is shaped like a penguin on its belly. It is uh, not open-topped. It is essentially an encased uh, spell-jamming ship. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a yeah. I don't have a picture of it. I tried to get one, find one, couldn't find it. I tried to AI generate one, I couldn't. So just imagine. <laughs> oh, but you I do am. see. <laughs> you do see at the docks. 
in front of the ship, a small do purple doar that seems to be trying to organize things, getting things loaded up, talking to people coming on, and standing roughly at the one of the entryways where uh, you would all each enter. So let's have everybody introduce their characters, and we're going to start with Joey. Oh, hello. Right, I am Joey. Um, most time I'm the uh, DM, but Mark is DMing this time. And I am playing once again my uh, my GIF fighter, um, Otto. Um, he is a ver he's a seven foot tall um, GIF, a hippo man, and uh, and very wide. Carries around a giant oh, blunderbuss and uh, a great sword on his back, and uh, he is in uh, plate armor, which basically makes him basically by this time like a walking tank. All right. Stomping around, making a lot of noise. You head up, and we'll say that you are going to... You're looking to all enter the ship to get on your way. Uh, this this one, uh, Doar, is starting to say, Ah, oh, yes, you, 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 yes, you. Um, I see you are on the list. I can deal with you next. Yes, uh, okay. Yeah, it should, should be so under you're... Otto H. Rumpelfloss. Oh, I, I believe I've taken on enough That's jobs to know how... Two O's and two T's. I know how to spell Otto. Wait, is oh oh okay. Here you are. Uh, welcome aboard. My name is King. Um, you will find your rooms. It basically tells you where on the ship your room is. The the various. Uh... Don't put me in the butt. No. Okay. The butt okay. of the ship. As you're doing this, we'll say our next character comes up. Gort. So. Hey Dustin. man, I'm. Hey man, I'm Gort. I'm. Uh, I'm just here, man. Uh, yes, I see you're on our list, too. Yes. You basically have all signed up to be what is known as protectors. Uh, the ship that you are joining on is not armed. It doesn't have weaponry, but, uh, it is not meant for just traveling. It's basically a cargo sort of vessel. And you're here to protect the cargo, and just in case anything comes by borge the ship whatnot you can fight them off so dustin uh, uh dustin <laughs> what's your character oh what's my oh Gort <laughs> is a uh plasmoid uh circle of the stars druid he is sort of a he honestly kind of doesn't really he while he knows where he is he doesn't really care he's just here to have he's just here man he's just feeling the vibes what oh, do you look like? You've been my uh, been my loyal spelljammer for the uh, for the past few months after our last adventure. If you need a spare spelljammer, my friend Gort here will be perfect. Well, it's yeah. always good to have a uh, a backup, just in case. Oh, and in case to answer the question that was given, he is a he's just like a green blob with uh, googly eyes attached and. He has a nice scarf and. Did, is he like humanoid? Like, does he have legs and arms, or is he just like a, a blob? There's a boy in his blob. You, you're familiar yeah. with that. I, I imagine he's like the the uh, the like the flubber, flub, the flubber <laughs> when they're yeah. I was literally thinking that the flubber when they're dancing around. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah 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 yeah. They got the little like nubby. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he needs. He has arms when he needs it. Yeah, I have arms when I need it, but usually I'm just a, I'm just lobbing around. Sorry about the trail he's leaving behind. Uh, I mean, it was, uh, honestly, it'll make it easier for us to to slide around. Yes. Anyway, you can go on. Uh, do you have any allergies, and are they allergies to fish? I don't think I have any sort of allergies, man. Well, good. Then we have food for you. Uh, next coming up, we will say, coming up behind you is Jess's character. <clears throat> yes, please introduce your character. <laughs> so here comes, she's probably been hanging around, honestly, playing money, or playing for money. Um, <laughs> a little auto gnome who is dressed similar to a jester or those for us 90s kids, those like porcelain clown dolls that we all had for some reason. Um, except half of her body is 
rusted and falling apart. Um, and her torso is an accordion, uh, basically. And after she's finished playing, she kind of scrunches herself back up and buckles her little leather buckles that were keeping her, that keep her torso together. But not too tight, because she still has to breathe, I guess. <laughs> and every so after she gets up and, you know, she counts her money, puts her hat back on and whatever, you can kind of hear vague, like, muffled accordion noises as she's running um, up to, uh, to where these people are getting on onto the ship. Hello, I am also here. Uh, I want on your ship. Yeah, uh, and you are, you must be Harmony. Yes, that yes. is my name. And, so you've uh, heard about me. That's wonderful. I, I'm looking at my list right now, and it says Autonome Accordion. Um, and I be. don't see any others except that person over there, but he's way over there. Well, that's me. I'm your bard. Well, entertainment is hard to come by. Do you know any songs about... Mm, Sliding on your belly in ice, looking for fish. I can certainly make one, just for you. You're hired. Well, you're already hired. All right. Tells you basically where your uh, where your rooms are. And last, and hopefully not least, but possibly could be least, we have Bun's character. Uh, he ends up uh, essentially a what looks like a pale human uh, in a, a black uh, leather coat and uh, uh, just, um, just looks like something from a goth film uh, just, uh, ends up uh, walking up um, glancing around the place as if um, uh, like scouting it or um, looking it over for like weaknesses, vulnerabilities and stuff like that and uh, it Stops to stare down at the little penguin. Pierce. Uh, let's see. Is that uh, E A or I E? Which pays more? You know what? I'll just I'll just cross out both of them. You look like you could you could handle both anyway. Ah, welcome aboard. <laughs> yeah. Pierce is left, Pierce is right. He opens coat and shows two rapiers uh, before stepping on. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, basically, everybody can go on and enjoy this fellowship. Take the benefits of a short rest, not that you need it. Um, but here's essentially what's going on. You are heading to a merchant convention, uh, or I should say the penguins, the Dohar traveling to a merchant convention. The Dohar basically are a group, they travel in group and their group is called a cartel. So if I refer to something as a cartel, they are not running drugs as far as you know. Um, but with that, we move into wild space. It's been a while since I've been to wild space. I've been cooped up on that rock for far too long. So Gord, yeah, yeah so what do you? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, man, it's always good to get out among the stars again. Oh, so uh, what, do you, what do you need for your cosmic omen? Um, it's essentially every time I do a long rest, which or I'm, I'm which I probably should have done this before the game. That's fine. If you need to, if you need to do whatever you need to do I now, to roll, I just need to roll a. Uh, just need to roll a die, any die. Go for and, it. All right, we'll do uh, D20, good old fashioned D20. All right. That what is... do the stars tell you, Gort? I see woe among the stars, man. Uh, what this means is until my next long rest, I can give a uh, creature within 30 feet of me a negative. A ba basically a D6 Bane. Nice. Nice. Well, it wouldn't be wild space with a little bit of woe. 
wild. <laughs> whoa, whoa, old space. You know what they call it. Just <laughs> the trip is essentially uneventful. Um, you do know that traveling among the stars uh, for these Doar, they are essentially you, you hear talk of being chased down by vampires. Um, was it? Yeah, it was vampires. Uh, vampires and uh, the Doar just always want to never want to stop in, in a, um, s stop in any one place for too long. So traveling right through to where they need to go. No stopping However, to see one, the sights. Yes. <laughs> However, one night you're all asleep in your individual caverns, unless any of you have doubled up. With a faint, uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. It's on the wrong page of my notes. The past few days have been quiet, almost peaceful, aboard the Raft, a large spell jamming vessel shaped like a silver doar. You've had time to relax and get to know your employers. Every one of them seems just as excited as the last to get to Mercon, the yearly Wild Space Merchant Convention, and are pleased to have you on board for additional security after the recent run-ins with that uh, run-ins they've had with vampires. Today, you're woken with a start, as you're almost thrown out of your beds. The raft lurches and rapidly slows, as you have to grab onto something to not slide onto the floor. Within moments, a familiar voice emanates from above the decks, a gravelly, no-nonsense tone of current Commander Mayana. Security team, arm yourself, and report to the bridge! Mayana would be the leader of the protectors of this ship. She herself is also a Dohar. So, yeah. what, does what does everybody do? The, the instant Gork comes away, he's like, I knew something bad was going to happen, man. Please tell me the alarm is going, newt, newt, newt. Yeah, it's, 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 newt, newt. I was going to scramble to get his armor, get his weapons. He goes, ah, oh, the thrill of the hunt. Harmony lands with like a, a just like on one side and goes. <laughs> she's, I mean, she doesn't have to sleep, technically. Right. But, you know, she's like, ugh, disturbed. She's become a bit of a diva, I suppose. She's, uh, <laughs> she's upset that she has been disturbed. She begrudgingly gets up and you just hear muffled like <laughs> she's putting herself back together and <laughs> trudging out of the room this it is... better be worth it oh, this is what we trained for boys Gort just like old times weirdo yeah. <laughs> hey, whatever you say man I'm good to go Gort's like just Gord doesn't remember any training. He just does what he does. <laughs> Mostly oozes. Passing through the low doorway into the command room that comprises of the upper head of the us uh, of the us of the usbo, which is the type of ship that you are on. Sorry, of the raft. And the, an incredible sight comes into view. A truly massive ship, shaped like a whale, floats slowly across the twin viewpoints uh, viewports ahead of you. You see this. Is that the windfish? I'm sorry. No, if I if I could have, I would have taken like the giant whale ship from Star Fox or the Star Fox mm -hmm. comic, but this was provided and it's really good. So. It really good. Hey, Mark, that's not a whale, just so you know. It's an, orca. an orca. It's a killer yeah. whale. Yeah. Orcas are like dolph like big dolphins. Yeah. I mean, is... in D and D, they're not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, it is a whale. It just looks like an orca. Yes. a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, to continue. The dark blue feathered form of your employer, Marrow, sits on, in a spelljammer helm and grumbles, that's ah, no use. Seems to be some sign of kind of gravity well that's keeping us from pulling further away from it. All I can do is just orbit. His daughter, Commander Mayana, the purple uh, Dohar, as you see, Turns to you as you enter. Ah, good, you're here. Uh, this whale ship seems to be what pulled us out of spell jamming speed. Uh, it's floating dead, but uh, 
somehow it's stopping us from leaving. We did receive a faint magical transmission when we arrived. It sounded almost like a scream, uh, but then we tried to respond and there was no answer. We'd like you to investigate, neutralize any threats, and disable the gravity well. Marrow swivels around in the helm and adds, Then see if there's anything of valuable we can salvage. And look for survivors, of course. Uh, I, I assume that we would have heard that from the the uh, uh, distress signal, but yes, of course, if you oh. see any survivors. There's at least one screaming person we know about. <laughs> well, there was. <laughs> yeah. That's, All right. That's, well. Uh, yeah. Let's get it on with. <clears throat> that was an English. Let's get this <laughs> over with. <laughs> now, Marrow turns around. And is like, well, as much as I don't want to bring this up business, this is a bit beyond what we have. Uh, signed you up for, and I am not but an honest business penguin. There's a one-time bonus of 40,000 gold pieces available. If you Itch. all prefer... Yeah, uh, together. Oh. Do you want less? <laughs> no, I just, you know. <laughs> I'm such a hot commodity these days. And this is if your group performs well and displays quality work. Well... I hate to try and bargain when we're facing this, but, you know, if we don't do anything for you, then we're all going to sit here forever. My thoughts exactly. I was going to use that <laughs> as a bargaining chip, but I see we're eye to eye. <laughs> he says as you both stand eye to eye because you're... Literally! <laughs> <laughs> all three feet, three and a half feet of me. Mayana, uh, chimes in. Uh, on top of that, I don't want to risk the ship by getting too close. We don't know what this gravity well is. It's causing us to stop from moving. We don't know what the situation is aboard this whale ship. As Marrow Mar Mar puts it, it's a... It's, it's a, a It's a, an orca. Yes, yes. No. However, so we will stay... We need to stay far enough away, about 500 feet, to remain outside of its air envelope... Um, and if, for those of you who need a reminder, remember, everything in, spelled, in Wild Space will have an envelope around it roughly based on the size of the thing itself. If something, this never came up in the other games, but if two things meet, basically they sh end up sharing air envelopes, and the you basically take on the traits of the worse our air envelope. How romantic. <laughs> so essentially, uh, the bigger one would take over control, and we just crash into it in a... No, because not necessarily. It's, it's, gra it's gravity would take over kind of thing. Uh, the gravity, I forget the rules for gravity merging, but yeah, it would potentially do that. More so they're worried about the air envelope because, you know, if it's foul air, it's <laughs> going to screw up your air. Okay. Yeah. It's more beautiful in a way if you think about it. Two oh, ships oh. meeting in space, sharing the same gravity well. Once there was a ship, it went on a trip. They lived happily ever after. Harmony looks up at Pierce and like looks back at Otto, looks at Pierce. She doesn't know any of these people. They never even told her her names. And she's just like, is it just me or is he a bit, is he projecting a little bit, you think? He's always been like that, man. What, I find beauty in, in the, the wild of space. No matter spice. how. Spice! Like, spice. <laughs> I was expecting you to just. Spice! <laughs> <laughs> I so should have based my character off him. <laughs> uh, uh, Nick. Uh, Pierce just gives Harmony. Uh, it stares down at Harmony and uh, gives a. Uh, a just a, a smile with absolutely no mirth. And yes, oh. there are fangs. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mia right. con continues before you can actually do that. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. How are you going to get over there 500 feet away through wild space itself? And how are you going to keep in contact with us? Well, that's why I'm going to explain that before you ask. First off, as we are Doars, uh, we can basically... Uh, I forgot, the, the, I forgot what the, the, the name of the ability it is, but... Um, 
we have a sort of a mind merging ability. Uh, we're able to basically stay in contact with you telepathically in case we need to communicate to you. Uh, from that distance, it should be fine. Basically, two two doars can uh, basically triangulate their thoughts, I guess, with a third creature. Is what it, what it sounds like. <laughs> well, I mean, of course they can. Uh, I mean, of course. <laughs> yes. Secondly, um, we uh, uh, as you we know, have... we're as psychic. you know. <laughs> Secondly, the way of you getting over to the ship is uh, well. Marrow turns or spins around and saying, We have just the opportunity to test out new pro prototypes of our new line of fish suits. Oh, we are going to be bringing to market in the next, uh, hopefully, month or so. Space month. And uh, he motions to some people who bring you over. Um, probably fitting. Does it come fish. in extra, extra, extra... Oh, they come in Extra all large. shapes and sizes. Well, they come in all sizes, but one shape. As he shows you all an interesting-looking fish suit. Oh, my God. I um, forget it. <laughs> I um, Otto raises uh, his hand. <laughs> um... Now couple, hold your questions for the end. Couple questions. <laughs> <laughs> hold your questions to the end. These are the uh, our new suits that we are calling the normal operation outside terra firma or newt suits. Explain it to the podcast listeners. So for anybody who's listening to the podcast, uh, they are basically. Uh, oh, let me bring up the actual description. This is a a fish suit. Is basically a spacesuit for spell jammer or for for spell jamming that looks like a old-fashioned deep-sea diver sort of suit. This one looks like that, except is a colorful penguin with little flippers and a little snout beak, and it's quite adorable. <laughs> this has a special... Uh, it, so the special ability on this is, this suit is fashioned to resemble a large, pudgy doar in your choice of bright color. The beak houses arcane machinery, which produces air, and flippers propel the wearer wear in both water and space, leaving small little bubbles behind them. It also has a temperature minor, or temperate minor property, so you have a comfortable, um, no, a comfortable interior temperature, providing you leave it, you know, completely on. Choice of okay. color, you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So, Gort's already like, if it comes in green, man, that'd be perfect, man. Ah, uh, that was my favorite color because they say genius is brick green. I'm Pierce also colorblind. Stare at it. No. He, he kind of looks at um Gort in uh, <laughs> harmony. He goes um, do you two need to breathe? Um. I hmm, is it? Mm. You know, I've never really thought about it, man. I don't. No. I just, I just think, I just think it'd look, I just think I'd look neat in that suit. So we may need to um, cobble together a few of those to to fit me. Oh, I, uh... oh don't worry. We we've got a special, a big and tall and gif uh, line of new suits. <laughs> Very so... specialized uh, field. There's still one like like Pierce just looks down at this one door that's holding him a suit and just says no, and this one's just like. Mwah. Just still holding it up at you. <laughs> so wait, do we need to wear these to to travel between the ship and the? Well, or... it's well. for one thing. We'll keep you alive in uh, wild space for longer than the minute that of the air that you normally get. I guess some of you don't need to breathe, but it also will help you fly the distance you need. Um, so we can I... take these off as soon as we get onto the other ship, right? Uh, the, the air might be foul or poisonous or whatnot. However, if you wish to take them off when you get to the other ship, if you don't need to breathe, uh, sure. Oh, I was just curious. She'll look back up at Pierce. You might want to put it on. Otherwise, no. That's it for you. <laughs> Pierce, be a team player. <clears throat> He'll take the suit. <laughs> I or just. Like, hold it in I think light. one comes in black, if that suits you. Get it in blood red. <laughs> you look like the kind of guy that would look, that would like blood red. I don't Newt's know. Are, uh, 
Gort is already getting into a, a green suit and is arranging himself so that his googly eyes pop out of the the provided eye that. sockets. I, <laughs> I, <hate that>. <laughs> I will pick a purple suit and try to put it on like a big man trying to get into his pajamas. <laughs> Bend over and it splits. Yeah. Oops, oh, hope that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> hope, that, it, hope that wasn't a prototype. Yeah, uh-huh. it, Gort getting in the suit looks like it's filling up from the bottom. Like, gross. Is it just like round? Just you're just like it, uh, no. I it, actually do. I actually like go into like a. I actually shape into the suit so it's like standing correctly. So it actually looks like there's a person in it and yeah. not a yeah yeah, yeah. well. A person-shaped blob. I imagine it, that it Pierce so has dumpy, like somebody's filled it with water. About to say, it's like a suit full of jelly, <laughs> of walking jelly. I, I imagine that Pierce kind of like puts it on his demeanor is <clears throat> is sort of like um, Rick. Uh, no, Rickman's character from uh, Galaxy Quest when he's got to eat the little bugs that were given is like yes, just like Mother used to make. He's <laughs> <laughs> got that sort of attitude. <laughs> In any case, ah, good. Now I want to now please report on these. Any any things that are uncomfortable, or if you can't breathe in them, uh, we've tested that out, so that shouldn't happen. Um, um, but just in case, I have, a, I, have, I have one request. Yes. And I, kneel, I whisper into his ear, "Can you make a hole for the tail?" Oh, oh, that's a good idea. There's lots of tailed ones. Yes, we will be right on that. We'll have that. Cool. Newt point two. Oh, okay, I'll just live with it. <laughs> we, oh, right now, yes, we don't have enough time for now. We're, we're in a rush. We gotta get the Merc on, and the vampires could be coming, and uh, just turns back around, just in a spell jamming helm, just kind of worried. Uh, M- Miana comes over and continues. All right, uh, so yes, the rest of us protectors will stay aboard just in case there are any other complications that come up, or we do that. You have my word that we will not leave you behind. We are... If we are to get out, we will let you know, and then you can just come right back over. And she's being completely honest about that. Um, however, now time is of the essence. We do need to. We don't want to miss the opening of Mercon. Uh, that's when they sort everybody in their individual merchant houses. Um, we need to leave in a few hours, so don't take, don't fall asleep on there if you can, if you can handle it. Uh, out of the before you leave the the bridge of the ship, you can see the whale ship. Uh, in the distance. Is there anything you'd like to do before you head out? I want to admire it. Uh, roll for admiring. G- give me a give me a d20. 14. It's a, it's yeah, it's pretty admirable. It's a dolphin but... amount of, of admiring. <laughs> uh, hey. Before we head out, I kind of... You, you know what? I was gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna do an augury. See okay. If this is a good. Well, I could do an augury, or if you really want, I could do, I could do uh, divination. Um, divination. What's what's the difference? Augury just gives you like a wheel or woe, and excuse me, divination gives you an answer. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do divination if you want, but All I'll right. say that uh, I'll say that it, it it's not going to be a ritual. You'll have to do it right now. Oh, uh, so spell slot. Let's see. It will be a spell slot. Yeah. So divination. Um, Level 13, okay, we probably have like 10 of them. No, no, hold on, where is Divination? Somebody didn't want to buy uh, Spell Scrolls. <laughs> divination fourth level. Is fourth level. level. Yeah. Mm. You maybe not select it? Yeah, see, okay. Uh, so, no time to do it as a ritual. I've just got to... Correct. You know what? I have a bad feeling from that woe earlier from my omen so yeah i'm mm. gonna do an uh, gort just kind of assumes kind of folds his le- quote unquote legs under him kind of assumes a meditation position and then his eyes just begin it's, shining a large bubbly penguin could do yoga that's what you're looking at right now that's what everybody else sees okay so he, um, he, you he, cast... he, commun- he communes with his uh, god of choice, which is Flarlogan, god 
Out of For horizons longer. and travel. After a bit, your eyes start going in both all directions. Everybody's sort of just looking at you, just uh, waiting for you to come out of your trance. You, however, go into your trance and you for for login, as you know, a sort of black miasma of, of mist and smoke swirls around you as the eventually stars just briefly appear, boop 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 boop, until you're covered into this, surrounded by this star field. In front of you, you feel a large presence, and that is of your deity. Ah, Gortinor, my boy. You seem very different with that costume on. How may yeah. I help you today? Well, man, we're going under this ship that screamed at us, and I've got some, and I've gotten some bad, bad vibes off of it, and I'm. Wondering if you could maybe, you know, make me feel better about it, or if not, maybe give me a bit of a warning as to what awaits us on this. Uh, well, it's what looks see. like an orca man. Kind of looks around for a moment. You don't know what he's looking at, but just he's taking something in. I think. Let's see. You get a specific goal or event or activity. I think you are going to need to find something specific. An orb or, or glass ball of some sort before you can move on. But finding it is not just the only thing. But keep a lookout for that. I Unfortunately, that's all, that's all I can... That's perfectly fine, man. Uh, thank you for your help, man. And, you know, keep that eye on the horizon as always. And keep yours on your gelatinous body so I can tell where you're looking. <laughs> Bye. As he sort of backs up, the stars slowly just go out like flames, just sort of uh, candles being uh, extinguished. And you come back, everybody else sees his eyes stop spinning. Uh, slow down, and then go back to being their normal googly-eyed self. Otto, We're is, looking... Otto is used to it. <laughs> We're looking for an orb, man. Well, it's always an orb, or a sphere, or something, or a ring. Well, it's not just the orb we're looking for, but the orb is something we need to keep an eye out for, man. Perhaps, perhaps it's some rods. Or, or a shiny rock, Mayana adds. Oh, I mean, could be, <laughs> yeah. A very special pebble. Yes. Is there anything anybody else would like to do while they are on the bridge? I think I'm about ready. Oh, I'm about oh. ready. Okay. Yeah, that was that was my last little... As you're walking, you're basically heading downstairs to the beak of uh, the raft, the ship that you were in. And its beak can open up. So it's basically the docking area. As you walk, uh, everybody is getting used to just being able to move around in their in their new suits. Pierce, as you walk, yours squeaks each step you take. Weak, 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 weak. And yours is the only one. Yep. <laughs> I just sound very squishy when I move in this. Now, looking over the, Mayana says, looking over the ship from what we can tell, there's a observation deck at the top. Uh, you could possibly look to be large doors that you could land on and, and uh, head into the ship from there. Hopefully they are not locked. Uh, so that would be the first place to check. All right. With a faint creak of the beak of the ship. With a faint creak, the beak of the ship begins to open, slowly lowering like a jaw as stairs... Stairs down... Oh, as stairs down lead to the vast shivering of emptiness of wild space. Commander Mayana steps back to provide you room to descend the ramp and launch yourselves into the chasm of emptiness between the two spell-jamming vessels. We'll be watching for your return. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. To all individually... Uh, jump, leap, leap off of the... Uh, of your ship heading towards... the whale ship. When we get back, remind me to thank 
whoever designed this suit. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> They'll be so happy. Uh, before he jumps, um, Otto will go, um, uh, Dante, look out for old Otto at this one. We got a bad feeling. And I will actually, uh, um, bow my head a little bit and then go cannonball and I'll jump out and, and jump onto <laughs> into wild space. Everybody begins to move on over to the flying through wild space. It'll take about a minute, minute and a half to, uh, to, uh, reach the ship. Uh, would you like to head to directly to the observation deck? I mean, does that seem the most obvious place to enter, or...? Based on what you can see, uh, if you would like to look, make a, um... Make a, uh... Arcana or Perception check. Can I say... Can I... Am I... Can I get close enough no. to him to give him guidance, or...? He's doing this as he goes over. He's not 12. saying this out loud, so I'm gonna say no. Don't worry, Dustin. Next edition, it's a reaction. <laughs> and you'll have all of that you want. <laughs> Oh, uh, dang it, I popped out the chat. Uh, actually, oh, yeah, this happens. might be better. Actually, it might be well, better. I'm going to have to start doing that. Um, <laughs> take an eyeball, too? Since he's... Um, or just, no. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you go ahead and make a Arcana check, Gort. All right. What's the best way to enter a whale? And I start looking, looking over the ship. Gort gets distracted by a shiny star. It's like... <laughs> He's, just, he's literally looking in the wrong direction. Whoa. Uh, there to be look more the, whales out there. Trying to look for the blowhole. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, Otto, you, uh, from where you're going, I'm gonna say that, uh, you would know that there could be a cargo latch somewhere, cargo thing on this ship. However, uh, you're not sure where. Well, the it, observation the, deck the is butt. the... What's that? I bet it's the butt. <laughs> I don't think it's in the butt. <laughs> um, you do see that the large doors on the... Um, there are definitely doors on the observation deck. Uh, whether or not they're locked, you don't know, but those that's all you see it now. It's probably where everyone's headed, so I'll just... Continue to go with the group as we start trekking into darkness our way to the ship. <laughs> the hulking form of the whale ship comes clearer and clearer into view as you drift ever closer. Blazoned along the side of the body of the beast, you can see the words, The Orca, painted in tall, bold, white letters. Copperplate Gothic. As you, head to the observation, <laughs> as you head to the observation deck at the top, as the ship fills more and more into view... The form of an observation deck becomes clear atop the huge vessel. Glass panels along the walls and ceiling form a rectangular viewing area, and a pair of large closed silver doors join an open-air viewing platform, which seems like a perfect place to set down. Um, well, that's, like, that's one thing. Um, would I know, like, what these whale ships are normally used for? Like, what they're... You can go ahead and make an Archon check. Archon check. As there's more information you get from an Arcana check, but we'll, we'll rope that in as a history check as well. Uh, 12. 12. Uh, you would know that they're um, basically a uh, like a luxury sort of liner. Not like a, maybe like a personal yacht type thing, uh, okay. but this one's large, large enough for a crew. Um, partially, this is probably why the Doar are interested in seeing if there's any salvage on there. They could definitely take this business trip and make it profitable. Okay. So some... Some rich guy had a bad day. Potentially. It's it's definitely not military. It could be personal use. It could be a research vessel. It could just be a taxi of some sort. Okay. And fun fact, um, a... The uh, an orca ship in uh, Elite Dangerous is also a cruise liner as well. <laughs> One of they took inspiration from that. Right, so it's a silver door. What color are your newt suits? Purple. Mine looks like a regular penguin. 
Uh, I don't blue. have a black dot, amazingly, so we're gonna say... <sighs> Mine is... Gray? There. Gort's... What, what's yours, Gort? Green, of course. Green. Pierce? Oh yeah, yours is pink. <laughs> Blood red. Otto's purple. Yeah. So Harmy, I'll just make yours white, as there's white on penguins. All right, you basically have made your way over to this observation little platform, and you can all just stand down. You are definitely all, obviously, well within the... Oh, God. <laughs> well within the... Um, uh, the gravity plane... Uh, uh, yeah, the gravity plane as well as the air envelope of the ship. If you wish to take your newt suits off and want to see what happens, you are free. Pierce Bordis. immediately dumps it. Do you need to breathe? No. Do you breathe? No. Okay. I'll look around. I knew it. I'm the only one who breathes. <laughs> the air is great. <laughs> I mean, Gort's just... Gort's fine where he is because he's like... He's actually like a... bobbing. He's bobbing up and down a little bit. So he's, he's, he's in a jello bowl right now. <laughs> I was gonna uh, Harmony, do you keep yours on? Um, you can take it off later if you want. Yeah, I'll leave it on for now. I'll like okay. maybe take the head off. Can, can you take okay. it off separately? Yeah. Is it like? Magic school bus when Arnold takes off his helmet. No, no, no. It's There's still <laughs> you're within you're within the, the 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 temperature is fine here. So take yours off. After I added all of those dots, now I take half of them off. You can see through the glass. <laughs> you can see through the glass panels up here. Much of the uh, much of the top deck of the orca is visible from outside thanks to huge glass panels that make up most of its structure. Two large statues of humanoid figures take prime position in the room, with a massive telescope filling the center of the chamber. At the rear of the room, a staircase descends down to lower decks. And this is a window or a door with a window in it? That's that's a door. There's a lot more like windows around, so it doesn't have an obscure view. But right now, it is a door. This is a door that we're hoping is, un is unlocked? Yep. Let's hope it's unlocked. You try to unlock it? I try to open it. There you go, because it's unlocked and, op and it opens easily. <laughs> I know about you and doors. You're very specific. <laughs> I've seen Vox Machina. Now, do you push or pull? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we could be here for hours. <laughs> it's locked, we can't do anything. Oh, oh, and oh, the, the spoony way. How do you open the door? <laughs> The only entrance appears to be two silver doors engraved with subtle elven-looking pattern that connects the windowed deck to an open platform with a matching silver railing running around its length, which is what you're on. The interior of this room is... the, the floor is pearlescent. It is just sheer white tiles polished very nicely. Oh, definitely a rich man ship. This area has no internal lighting. It is just essentially set here so people can see out into the into wild space very easily. Mm -hmm. um, however, there is it is dimly lit due to just a large star in the distance. There's an eerie quiet as you enter in, as you're those not in your newt suits to just hear your breathing going over. I uh, look over to Pierce and go, um, do you need... Um... An invitation to enter, and I kind of <laughs> chuckle. <laughs> you see, because it's oh, okay. And I take a step I get back. it. And just uh, he'll um, I cannot control my icon. Oh God, did I? I forgot to do that. I'll fix that real quick. Okay, but I uh, can just, also just walk past Otto into the room. It looks like you do need permission to enter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made Bun's token last, so I forgot to set up. Uh, I got it. Yeah. Fierce. Oh, God, there's two of them. Safe settings. Safe oh, God, changes. there's two of them. I just delete the one on the left. Should be good now. And you can control that one? 
Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, yes, you may move around as you wish. All right. So I know something is afoot. I have blunderbuss at the ready. Blunderbuss okay. at the ready. So take out my uh, rifle. And I'm like super, like looking in every direction. It's like sneaking around. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> You like roll in all like covert ops like SWAT guy. In my in my plate armor, yeah. But you're basically like Chief Wigamit. <laughs> but I'm like expecting like something to jump out because like something yeah. had to happen to this ship, and of course it's going to be right as we enter. But nothing happens right away. Yeah, yeah Pierce just stares at you like an idiot. <laughs> I say to Gord, it reminds me of the Nautiloid. Abandoned. Hey, I was on one of those, too. Oh, did you have someone pretending to be a hostage on, on yours? Yeah, and then you came after us. It was really fucking scary. Whoa, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset I didn't get to see a mind player, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, not a, a live one. I saw a dead one. It's not as exciting. I forget which group inspected the body they found to find, like, the plate armor. I think it was Joey and uh, Dustin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar to me. Yeah. <laughs> that actually does sound familiar to me. It might have been medium armor. Oh, it might have been. They found something that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, plus one armor. But anyway, continue. Yeah, let's go take a look at this uh, telescope real quick. Okay. Uh, looking around, the telescope itself is all, reaches almost the 20-foot-tall ceiling here. It is beautifully crafted and mounted on a rotating cradle that is secured to the floor. It includes a seat for one medium or medium-plus-sized character. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point it directly at the sun. <laughs> you point it at the very distant... You're not near a sun, but you do point at a very distant star that's been going through. I want to point it at an ant. <laughs> You point it uh, in the direction you want. Well, I, mean, uh, like, I assume. You, uh, that angle, like, right, I, I get it. Yeah, okay. It's broken. <laughs> everything look, everything it? looks far far away. Uh, you look through it. Um, you see an ominous red star silhouetted against the deep hues of white space. You pointed it towards a a, a dim star that was not red uh, as you look through it, or when you pointed it to uh, when you aimed it. Is that the like nearby star is now red when I look through this? When you look through it, it looks to be some sort of red thing that is silhouetted against the this. The, I'm sorry, oh, okay. an ominous red star silhouetted against the deep hues of wild space. Okay. Yes. I like look at that, but then I look out the window, kind of compare, and I go, "That's odd." It appears red through the telescope. Hmm. You look out. Uh, before you, yeah, before you turn it, it looks like it was pulsing and writhing. Uh, and then you look at, and looking at the star, it is not red at all. And you go back to looking in the telescope again. Oh, so I've seen almost something completely different. Oh, yes, it's, it's I'm sorry. A mass yes. Of, it's a mass of flesh. <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't say that. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, Make us whole. <laughs> you know, oh, it's broken. Nice. Spin in a random direction. What are these statues of? Uh, well, which one do you want to look at? Well, uh, the one near the stairs. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, you just did something, so we will say that you are okay, okay. you are getting off of the getting off. You are um, heading over to the <laughs> statue Hardly. to look at it. <laughs> uh, Harmony, Pierce, and Gort and Orr. Um, what'd you like to do? Gort's kind of just looking around, literally just looking around. He. He doesn't know what he's looking for. Um. Okay. Harmony I'll, Pierce. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a I'll study the statues. <laughs> so looking nothing, this... basically, Gort. <laughs> That's what he always does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Harmony, you see a 15-foot-tall statue that depicts elven-looking creature features. The creature is has elven features. Statue. Statue. Uh, is androgynous but slightly masculine wears a sky blue cloak and a large amulet in the shape of a crescent moon with a circle 
A crescent moon within a circle. Hmm. I don't get it. Pierce, do you do anything? It's the, it's the Umbra <laughs> witch, witch symbol from Bayonetta. <laughs> uh, Pierce is uh, just <laughs> keeping an eye out, uh, um, watching Otto uh, play with stuff, and trying to ignore the uh, the slurp slurp noise of Gort as he's walking mm-hmm. around. Slurp, 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 slurp. Okay. Uh, you all coalesce around the um, stat the statue to the west, um, east. I'm always I was bad at yeah. that. To the to the right, <laughs> um, Otto. Uh, I assume you get there first. Would you like to take a look at this statue? I have a confession. Uh, Mark. Yes, I still do that elementary school thing, like northeast, south, and west. Yeah, I still, gotta... I still do it because I... E is 3 o'clock. i got to remember that. Um, that yeah. seems really easy. I don't know why I've never been told that before. E is 3. E is 3. It's perfect. Huh? East is 3 o'clock. Oh, is that how you guys learned it in school? No, I, I just oh. thought that up now, and I'm I, like, wait I, a second. I always do never eat slimy worms. That's why. Oh, for us, it was <laughs> never, ever smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> And look what that happened. <laughs> yeah, it's I never did. That's yeah. a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> it's a suppository. Anyway, um, Otto gets over to the yeah, well, looking at the other, other statue. <laughs> look at the other statue uh, closest to the stairs. Uh, it appears to depict a scholarly, scholarly priest-like elven woman with a book and a spyglass. Is the spyglass a part of the statue? Uh, you can make a investigation or perception uh, investigation check. Twelve, another twelve. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, hey, nice. Um, looking closer, the statue does the spyglass. Sorry, does appear to be an actual spyglass. Uh, you can't tell if it's, you know, the actually works. It does be pretty ornate. If it's if it's if it's not functional, is it definitely or ornamental? Well, Otto knows those things are worth a lot of money, and those little penguins were on the lookout for salvage. All right, as you head over to the thing to investigate it and and, and see, you hear the slurp slurp of Gort, and then realize Gort is not to your right; he's to your left, and you're hearing noises to your right. I say, I say, Gort, stop slurping. That ain't me, man. Well, who else could it be? Suddenly, after a few moments, long snake-like worms, burring, burrowing their way out of the nooks and crannies of the statue, drip down onto the floor. Well, full oh, of snakes. Like those Play-Doh, Play-Doh things when you squeeze the handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... For, and they start forming into a swarm of worms. And they immediately attack you, Otto. I need everybody to roll initiative! Alright. All Give right. me that list. Let's see if I remember how to play a bard! <laughs> the answer is... Probably not. <laughs> I knew I should have bought Alchemist Fire. <laughs> it's okay. It's level thirteen. I'm gonna see if I, I have to remember how to DM at level thirteen. Um, By the way, we're level thirteen. Yes, that's yes. We're we've skipped ahead because this is a one shot. This is the highest. Where's my music? Level I forgot how been. to forget where my music tab is. I'm looking right at it. Come at. Let's do good old rat battle. Oh yeah, Sweet. the longest campaign ended at tenth, I think. This is the highest I've been. I think, I think uh, I, you're high? Sorry. Yeah, I'm super high. <laughs> 13 levels. Come on, high. Jess. You know that's not what he meant. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I think the one I ran um, after I Spire Peak went up to 11. But that was, I was DMing that. Uh, But to combat, Bort, you, uh, because of your high, um, because of your high, uh, 
He's uh, just tied. Passive perception, yeah, because of your passive perception. Uh, I'm going to say that you're able to notice this before it can take a sw swipe at auto. So you can have your normal turn first. It will not be a surprise round. All right. I, I'm like, I see this thing and I'm like, not today, words. And I am going to cast. Let's see, do I just want these things gone? Or do I? Uh, we're just at the You beginning. want to you know, eat them. <laughs> no, I think. Gort is actually going to cast Guiding Bolt at a... Or he's going to cast Guiding Bolt at this. Okay. So. Um, um, okay, yeah, go ahead. Right. He's going to actually... He actually gets to use it five times just for free. Yay! Free spells! But he can only do it at first level, so... Yeah, so go ahead. Uh, there's a 20 hit. 20 does hit. For 10 radiant damage. As you do damage, uh, it does do the 10 radiant damage. Uh, you take a... This is a swarm, so it doesn't take damage this normal sense. It has sort of... You've killed, essentially, almost... You've killed 10 of whatever they are, however much there are in there. Oh, the swarm is, 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 swarms tend to get weaker as, they, as you kill more of them. Correct. Also... It, the bolt lights them up and makes them easier to hit for the next person mm. to hit it. They are the glowing worms from Rocky and Bullwinkle when they had a worm ranch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Obviously a reference to that. Yeah, well, next, <laughs> essentially the next person who attacks gets advantage. Hey, anything else, Gort? Um, do I have any bonus? I am not going to do story form quite yet, because I don't, I think it's a little too soon for that. Is there anything else yep. I can do? Bonus action. Can move? Mm -hmm. Bonus action. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna back off because I don't want these things near me. Okay. I'm I'm kind of yeah. We'll go here. Okay. Okay. Next up, uh, the sort of insects. They basically. Uh, does anybody, Joey? Do you know how I make the art show to everybody on the screen? Like, I know there's like, a way to do that. Like the handouts? I thought you did that with the penguin suit. You do that. You do the handout, but I just show the handout. It's a way to show the art to everybody. Uh, I don't. Know. All right, I'll figure that out another time. Um, oh, like on a creature? Oh, no, that's I... a reference pod. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's. I think a way to do it on a token, but uh... not that nope, I know. Uh, no. Either way. Oh, In any he... case. Oh god. Um. The swarm of insects moves into your space on. Oh, into my space? a little bigger. Yep, it is a swarm. It can move into your space. Oh, God, they're all over me. Oh, God. And they're going to make a basic attack because they are basics. Where did my window go? <laughs> I've already forgot. Oh, I closed it. I've already forgotten how to DM. You don't DM for what, like a month? <laughs> DM in person, it's a little different. Um... It's going to make a bite attack on you. Right. Does a five hit. With my new plate armor? No. No, unfortunately. They try to start just burrowing into you. Oh, God. Just head first, kind of like a leech or something like that. And they're, the plate armor just, you know, they can't get past that. If I have just regular old plate armor. Probably weighs more than uh, Harmony. Okay. Harmony, you are up. Oh, right. I'm you... going to take a step so I can see. And I'm going to. Fireball! I'm going <laughs> to. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. She'll she'll just be like, hold them steady! And then I'm going to do my little finger guns. And I'm going to Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Pew, pew, pew! How pew, the pew, fuck lasers. do I Eldritch Blast? All right, it's a... Oh, I still have to roll the hit? Lame. Spell, yeah, it's a it's a roll the hit spell. It's... I have advantage, though, right? Because Gort... Yeah. For, it, fuck for, yeah, for bro. One. That's right, you do, yes. But only for the first one. First well, you only for... roll once. No. No, uh, at this at this level, you should you have... have... Yeah, at this level, it's, you have... You, you roll once for a for an attack, but all three beams hit, right? Is that not how Eldritch Blast? No, they are, they, are th they are three no. separate attacks. What? Yep. Yeah. That's like oh. Scorching Ray. Which is really nice when you're trying to break somebody's comfort concentration. <laughs> yeah. It is. You want it to be separate hits. 
I mean, yes and no. I think that depends on the person. But anyway, so first, one, first one, yeah. 15. It's kind of 15 a, hits. It's like a different way of doing um, um, cantrips increasing in power. Instead of just yeah. being more powerful, you get more attacks. Yep, do that for a couple this of them. Sucks. Yeah. Wow. Two I thought, damage. I honestly thought Eldritch Blast was only for Warlocks. There are Funny how feats it. work, Joey. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yep. Uh, also, sorcerers can cast it too. Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Uh, all right. Second one. I can't see. Twelve. Twelve just hits. This Fuck. does also appear to be at half strength. You killed half of them. Hell yeah. Three damage. What level are you guys? Thirteen. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> one more attack. Let's go. One more. Damn, pew pew pew. <laughs> 30 20. 30 20 will definitely hit. Come on! Uh, four. four. God, it's looking, it's looking, they're looking really bad. There's only a couple, couple trying to burrow through. Pierce. I'm sorry, unless you wanted to move or had a bonus no. action army. Sorry. No, I'm good. Pierce. Hold perfectly still. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out two rapiers. Oh my god! And uh Pierce is Pierce. Uh well Blade was already taken, so um and literally stabs forward to just like get them uh, on the uh I, I, I get them on individual tips of the sword. Alright. Uh, I get three attacks, all of the um uh, and no, I do not get any disadvantages of any kind for it, uh because I nice. Didn't see nice. Fuck him up. All three hits? What are you? Oh, I can see. Uh, that would be... Uh, um, and I have you... an ally within range, so I get to keep <laughs> the first one. Yeah, you totally did, did a total of... Uh, well, 22. the first one is the only one that matters, so you did oh, 22 yeah. damage. You basically shish kebab the last three of them <laughs> in one go. As the Swarm of Insects is no more. Oh, no, it's not. You can see that. DM Lair. And we are out of combat. Nice. Man, level 13 combat, I tell you what, guys. Did we level up? No. A <laughs> <laughs> ah. flourish to uh, just, uh, fling, them, uh, uh, fling them across the room. Yeah. I got one of those, too. <laughs> the whole time, Harmony's just been like, click, 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 click. She's, like, walking her way so, up to Pierce. The DM of me is coming out. Uh, Bun, uh, do you have a dual wield feat? Yes. Okay. I also yep. ha have two wep uh, two, uh, two weapon f uh, fighting style. Okay. All good. I'll, I'll just make sure, because rapiers aren't light. But I'm, like, I'm just like, oh, well, yeah, I like I the know. dueling weapon. You have two I, dueling I weapons. I double-checked before doing all this, so don't worry. I can duel yeah. two people at the same time. <laughs> yeah, if only I got a uh, bar, a uh, uh, tavern brawler too. Find me two dwarves. <laughs> so the um, the uh, statue crumbles to dust as as they sort of like like coming out of it just weakens its its structural integrity and the statue just crumbles to the ground. The spyglass ding 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 hits the ground. I want to catch it. Uh, make a dexterity uh, check. Dexterity. I, Nineteen. Did you click on Pierce? Why does it say Pierce? Oh, I'm in Pierce's thing. No wonder why I was. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I think my dex is higher. Okay, Pierce catches it. <laughs> um, <laughs> add, add a two to that. Okay, so twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, you're able to catch it just before it hits the ground. It is a uh, an ornamental made out of solid gold. It's pretty heavy. Gold. You think it might be worth twice the twice the value of a normal one? I will pocket it. You have a 2,000 GP spyglass. I don't try to hide or anything, but I go, so here, looks like the trip's worth it. You zip open a pouch in your newt suit, stuff it in, zip back up. It's a bag of holding built in. 
<laughs> it says, thank you for using the Newt suit uh, deployment equipment to pack. Have a Newtastic day. <laughs> no, no. Newt. <laughs> I put it right next to my blood red pirate flag that I apparently still have. <laughs> Oops. Turn order. Um. Okay. Actually, make sure I uh, get rid of the swarm. But I want to look at these worms. Worms don't usually live in statues. Okay, go ahead. Uh, give me an arcana or investigation check, depending on like what you're trying to do. Or a medicine check. Worms don't normally burrow through stone, too. 16. 16 on investigation. Uh, these definitely don't feel like they're terrestrial normal worms. There's something unsettling about them. Do they have... Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, so I... The monocle, I bend over. Another rip in the penguin suit. Oh, darn. Um, and, uh... <laughs> I go, uh, these are no earthworms. Meaning they're... Take it, take inspiration. Take there. it, take it, take it, take inspiration. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you out pun bun, you get inspiration. That's the rule. What's an earth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like they go in the earth. Soil. The ground. You know, soil. <laughs> Where grass grows. Oh. You, dirt. Have you not seen grass? <laughs> have you not touched grass? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm saying anyway. these words, these worms are weird. <laughs> oh, looks like we solved the problem. Let's go. No. So the, he so, starts going. Yeah, we're on the observation, so he starts going down. I say we head downwards. Yes. Don't touch the other statue. It may be full of worms. Noted. Pardon me, you got pretty close to the uh, statue. Uh, no worms did come out at all, so just noting that. Does this, this statue have that crescent symbol on it, too? Or... Uh, yeah. This one, the second one, uh, did not. It had a book and a spyglass. The book uh, was stone, the spyglass was actually real. Okay. All right, so we head down the staircase all right give me a marching order uh, i think Otto will go first oh, go uh, <laughs> who's next uh pierce will protect the back yeah i guess gort goes before pierce slurp 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 well head down I didn't mean to click that. No worries. I'm, now, what uh... are those little cards for? Oh, those that's the safety deck that uh, they they added, and I just had it on there. I don't think we're going to need okay. it, so I'll turn those. I'll, I'll actually turn that one off. <laughs> oh, is that in case people get too grossed out? Well, oh, well Luffy. <laughs> the, the, it's the the safety cards, the safety deck uh, X cards and whatnot are a safety tool for D and D. Uh, they they added ones for. Boop, they added ones for uh, D and D beyond or, or Roll Twenty uh, a while ago, so this isn't just for this adventure. But um, I was like, yeah, maybe put it in here just in case it gets creepy. But I think we're all good. Uh, hide there. We I go. have my G fuel. Protect me. <laughs> Gives me. You courage. are all now down here. Sponsored by G fuel. <laughs> a large open room awaits you as you step off the staircase. Clutch couches and rich carpets adorn the space with dedicated game tables, bookshelves, and a bar filling the luxury lounge. The comfortable scene is shattered, however, by dark stains streaked across every surface. The stench of death is overpowering uh, to those not wearing their newt suit helmet. And from behind broken furniture, the ghastly remains of humanoid forms can be seen. I also believe Otto's the only one who could probably smell. <clears throat> Um, you have extra smell. Yeah, I see, see my nose. Um, I go, okay, maybe it wasn't the worms who did this. 
this area itself is um the actual room let's uh this this room itself doors to the the west directly in the western wall looking around uh as i said just d blood bodies lots of things destruction sort of all around if there was worms careful of the bodies <laughs> There are there. There's light on this this room at least, uh, from continual flames on sconces along the wall, along the walls. See, I check to see if there's any surviving wine bottles. Make an investigation check. Seventeen. Uh. There are, but they're all empty. The bottles themselves have survived. Okay. <laughs> all right, so besides carnage in this room, anything of interest? Definitely want to check out one of the bodies. Okay, pick a body. Oh, there's a third one. I didn't notice the one under Gort. Yeah, yeah I was just about to move him out of the way because of the name. Um, I, was, I was just like... Um, freaking, uh, Naked Gun, again, where Frank finds just a random body somewhere <laughs> after the explosion. <laughs> um, okay, so Otto, since you picked one directly, uh, you find, looking around, yeah. this, looking at this person, uh, looks like they were laying behind a broken table and, and furniture. Um... Would you like to investigate the body, or are you just looking at it? Oh yeah, I'm definitely investigating. Okay, body. it could be investigation or a medicine check, depending on what you want to do. Yeah, probably medicine. I want to see a cause of death. Okay. I, th I think all of us are checking one of the bodies while Harmony's checking the, uh, for coins in the couch. <laughs> yeah, she's sitting on like the edge of the couch, her feet are kicking off. Yeah. Gort, just Gort's looking at everybody. Looking, Gort's checking out the body to see how it died. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gort, go ahead and give me a medicine check and Pierce medicine or investigation, depending on what you're trying to do. And I rolled a 13. Yes. Pierce definitely got that. It appeared to have died of <laughs> losing this red liquid coming out. <laughs> no, it's definitely died from blood loss. Yeah. Um, yes. The the medicine checks, how it, uh, the first two, I'm sorry, Gort and Otto, you do not notice anything. Particularly, uh, you can't find anything. They are definitely have taken some injuries, most likely from a blunt weapon, but you don't know if that's what killed them. There's definitely things smacked around more so than, like, scorch marks or stab wounds or things like that. Uh, however, Pierce, so you noticed two things. Uh, first, when you find this person, you uh, do find a sort of identification chat, uh, tag. This is Third Mate Kara Chai, C-H-E-I, Chai. And she was going to be king of the pirates. She, um, this, she definitely died from bludgeoning. Uh, but with your keen eye of, of murder, she's definitely taken some signs of, of psychic trauma. Very, very obvious, sort of just like her eyes are like bloodshot from, even though she's dead. And just, there's definitely sort of a, an unsettlingness to, to, to her. You also notice that she is standing with her musket in her hand against the bar. Uh, her pockets... Oh, you didn't look at her pockets. You just looked at the medicine check. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll do an investigation as well. <laughs> Alright, so you don't have an investigation check, but you, you do search the body. You find you see her musket, and you find her pockets hold ten bullets and a packet of smoke powder. Powder. Oh, waste not. chat. Welcome over to Pierce. What did you find? Uh, a gun, some ammunition, and blunt force trauma. I look to where the gun, like, in front of the person to see, like, what they could have been firing at, potentially. Uh, make a, make an investigation check, Otto. 
Pardon me, is there anything you'd like to do while you were waiting for everybody to... No, sorry, I was reading the uh, the handout. Okay. Um... She's, she's pulled up a magazine. <laughs> Highlights for children. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think, like, they're all looking at bodies, so I don't... Well, I guess they weren't... You, you play the death march on your... Uh, you play taps on your accordion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, there isn't like a whole hell of a lot that I. Can That's fine. Do. No, I just I just want to make sure that if you are not doing something, you are choosing not to do something, and that yeah, I'm yeah. not skipping over you. Okay. Like, uh, you is this smoke around. powder something special? It's basically the um, for people who are doing this that are not gifs or not playing in a in a firearm thing. Okay. This is the smoke powder from. Uh, water deep, I believe. That's okay, really I was wondering, like, does this make my musket more powerful if I use this or anything? Well, you don't have it. Pierce does. Okay, well, I'll just. You know. <laughs> uh, yes, but it would he would need that for his musket, I would say. Okay. Um, looking around with your investigation check, you reveal uh, you you figure out that there were many more creatures involved in some sort of a battle here, possibly several days ago at at, at most. But most of the bodies have been removed. Is there like, but, like blood trails leading to the door or something like that? A little bit to the door, yeah. Definitely not going up to the pearlescent clean tiles. I think this room was much, much more bloody. I will go to the door and creak it open. All right. Does anybody else want to do anything else as I am finding how to do light again? <laughs> uh, I was going to say, how is... dark is it down here, actually? It is continual flame, so it is, it is let's say, okay. brightly lit. So it's, it's, it's good. Where is the... No, that's not it. I lost... Oh, there it is. I lost my uh... reveal area symbol. You see a hallway. And let me just I'll just polygon this. Boop. Boop. Nope, oh, that's a line. Oh, I'm sorry, I am out of shape. DMing out of shape. I think we all are. It's okay, <laughs> take your time. No, I want to do it now. We'll only judge you a little bit. <laughs> Y'all are so mean. It's okay, I deserved it because I can kill them all. Um, deep blue carpet is stained with bloods and signs of battle. Continuing your investigation check, uh, Otto, we'll branch it out from that one, is that creatures were killed here as well, and their bodies were dragged along the hallway. To the north, you see another statue. Uh, you see a bend in the hallway to the south. Otto is concentrated on the blood trail, so he's kind of going to kind of follow that. Oakley, but I don't want to, but I don't want to, like you know, leave leave the people behind. Leave okay, the, so you leave start, the party behind. You start moving that way. Accordion, hey. ready to leave. I just getting her attention. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah your your name's Accordion. <laughs> I thought you said a Gordian. I thought you were talking about Gordian. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's the uh, shipping name. The Orca. The Orcordia. Ah! Uh. Yeah, I'll step out. The hallway uh. continues. There are rooms to the north end. Uh, obviously, you are stepping around some sort of room. It looks like there is a hallway that only continues the south, but possibly turns to the north. I'm not going to investigate it, but I'll give a glance over at whatever it is that's north of us. Looks like okay. a statue. Um, this is... A ten-foot-tall statue of an elven figure with the shape of a setting sun framing their head. They are also a little androgynous. Well, you said elf, so yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think, we should, I think we should go take a look at that man. Remember the worms. I can. We can handle the worms, man. You know, uh, if, if it has any, they can stay inside it. Do these doors look disturbed at all? 
like something... actually yes court i was gonna Sorry, say court. i could reach a port i can reach a pseudopod out to it if you wish uh auto to you can do that you can decide if you want to do that dustin uh auto you're uh looking at the doors they they look like as you're looking at the doors, uh, you hear back at the doors behind Gort and Pierce, and they start closing on their own. Not to lock, but just sort of, like, closing. You think they're on a mechanism, and maybe the rest of the doors would automatically close as well. Oh, they don't look is. this damaged or disturbed beyond just blood splatter and maybe occasional scorch mark. Do they go, shoop, shoop. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, like, does this blood trail look like go into the door at all? It looks like it continues to the west. It okay. does not go into the rooms, uh, the, the doors to the north. These doors labeled? Um, one says door. Okay. Um, they are not labeled. Okay. Well, I guess it's supposed to be thorough. I'll open up the door next to, next to me. Okay. Resident Evil 2 goes to a black screen with the door opening. Yep. I, I, I'm, since he's still wearing the suit, I just imagine that uh, like the, the head lifts up enough for an arm to, to lift out like from where the <laughs> mouth would be. <laughs> so, Gort, you, you would like to touch the statue essentially tap it and whatnot investigate it it's essential i'm essentially sitting out this long thin pseudopod about yes. 10 feet ahead of me to just kind of just poke the statue you basically have a little mini uh uh mage hand is it coming out um, of the mouth yeah it's like coming out of the mouth <laughs> i just like i i rear the head back open the mouth it's like Bleh. and this long, go around thin, it the entire statue is stone. There's no. It doesn't look like there's anything on it. You shake it around a little bit. No worms or anything come out. Touch it more, Court. Touch it all over. In I the room to... that you you head into, I... Otto. <laughs> um, long row of bunks dominate this room, with some foot lockers and chests near each of them. Uh, there are a few desks and tables against the opposite wall. Uh, there is a door to the, um. In the west. Hmm. Or at least to the hallway. If I had to guess. You would guess that this is either the crew quarters or the uh, some sort of passenger la passenger sleeping area. Most likely the crew court crew quarters if it's uh, a bunch of bunks. Yeah, but I hold up my blunderbuss, do a sweep of the room, check for any obvious uh, threat. Then I relax a little. Kind of investigate the desk here. What's on it? Okay. Looking through the desk, one of the chair one chair has been tipped over, and this appears to be a writing desk. I put it back up. A journal lays open with a quill on the pages. The ink pot was knocked over and spilled on part of a journal. It is now dried. It looks like somebody left in a hurry. We'll take a first thing. I'll put the seat back. So it's not knocked over. There's worms in it. No. <laughs> no, no. Um, then I'll, take, I'll take a look at the journal. All right. It was Feng um, Shui that killed them. Oh, this is... I forgot I had this. This is what the worm statue... This is the image they had for the worm statue uh, earlier. I forgot I put it into a... Uh... Ew! Oh. Yeah. Ew! Uh, uh, oh, I hate it's okay. it! They're dead now. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Uh, no. Looking through, so it's the... not just a bunch of worms came out. It's that the statue, like, was kind of made of worms, or the worms kind of look like it wasn't made of worms. Like, it's obviously just made to look more unsettling than the actual description. But you find this journal. Most of the journal is mundane, describing missions to discover and catalog the long dead remains of forgotten gods. Each entry is signed with an X. The most recent is unfinished, but readable. And you'll remember that the uh, floating in wild space, there are husks of giant dead gods, the remnants of whatever bodies they may have. And this is what that is referring to. As one does. <laughs> Who 
who would like to read it for the podcast? Me, me, me. Me, oh. me. Okay, Harmony, Harmony. <laughs> oh, she like, I like to imagine that she just kind of like bounds up on the chair behind Otto. Oh, just, just starts oh, reading it out loud. Oh, there's words here. Jess, I, didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> Jess, it's in French. Okay. So it's like, oh, Otto, the Otto opens ah. up, and then Otto opens up, and then Harmony immediately just goes between his legs. Ooh, let me read. I was actually going to read it in French. <laughs> I won't, though. Ed Capitan. See? Oh, I can do it, too. All right, go ahead. Read the whole thing in French, Joey. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> the captain has been acting real strange these past days. Quick-tempered, real cagey-like. Maybe he shouldn't be up and about again so soon after what happened. Never seen a man go unconscious like that. The way his eyes, eyelids fluttered. There was talk of what to do with that relic he found while he was out cold. Or while he was out, comma, cold. Kara said we should toss it, get rid of it, never think of it again. I think I'd have felt a lot better about things if we did. First mate Wilk said we knew the captain wouldn't like that. Knew he'd tell us how in my mouse is covering the thing. How important a discovery it was when he woke. Still, we got him to the, box it up put it down in the hold and away from us all i feel a little better now oh so it's down in the hold anyway uh i feel a little better the now. orb the, the way orb those, we're looking for the way those things squirm inside gods it's not right i think i'll take my leave once we make port finding dead gods is nice and all pays the bills but it sure isn't the life i dreamed of when i looked up at those stars i'll tell the captain next chance i get i'd have talked to him before except for that smell must be the sweats he has. Oh, <laughs> running off him in beads. It's no surprise with that heavy coat he started wearing around. I suppose he's still got the chills. Maybe it's spreading. I saw Wilkes wearing his thick layers today, too. Hope I don't catch it. The sooner I get out of here, the... Oh, the captain's worms. The castle... Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, 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 they're killing me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, worms? Worms, Captain's worms. But something's down in the hold, so we gotta go there. We gotta get it. I think they found something on that dead god that was better left undisturbed. Well, that's what you get for disturbing dead gods. Yeah. Jeez, you'd think it's in the name. They're gods. Of course, there's gonna be something weird with them. God People in wild space are weird. Yeah, it's like, God of dead worms? Like, yeah, leave it alone. Oh, God of anything. You should just leave it alone. Mm. That's why I don't believe in any. Uh, anyway, maybe we only should. only God I believe in is uh, my my God of guns. Which is a real thing. That's, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> you You're ever... weird. Yeah. It lets me. Uh, Says kick... the walking accordion. <laughs> what? It allows me to uh, to uh, not um, use a action to reload my musket. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I don't know. To relay the information Honestly. to Gort and Pierce about the problem about the the weird captain made of worms. Just leaning out the door. Oh, by the way, there was a captain. Uh, he had worms in him. Yep. Full they found worm. something. Uh... Ow, I hurt my arm doing that. <laughs> they turn back at you as they're touching the statue, and they're like, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's exactly Pierce walks what it away looks away like. Still licking the statue. Just don't touch me. <laughs> so we got a uh, pretty standard case of people disturbed a dead god. And, uh, you know, the unknowable became became knowable. And where, and I'm guessing worms happened? Yeah, and the result was worms. <laughs> What's this? This fucking French? I can't read French! God damn it! No! That's what it was oh, trying to reference! Fuck. You missed it! <laughs> I did, I'm sorry, Mark. For anybody that doesn't know that, that's from oh. Outer Wilds. So good. I'm sorry, the Outer Worlds. Outer, Outer Worlds. Worlds. Outer Worlds. Yeah. Different game. Yeah. Outer Worlds. <laughs> so I want to play. I got it. So Great fucking game. good. So <laughs> good. Anyway. Character. So, should maybe head to the hold, but I shall leap behind this oh. wall to see, look down this hallway. Whoa! So, let me clear off this so <laughs> you can see a little more. 
I want to surprise the, surprise. Did he, I like to imagine that when Otto leapt, the the, the ship kind of like <laughs> yeah, <the whole> ship. <laughs> wobbled a little bit. It like tilted <laughs> downwards. It's like have your hands up. You were looking at a staircase. <laughs> okay. That probably goes to the hold, but we see the blood. I think continuing down this other other blood hallway. does continue down the hallway and not not down a level. Well, they were probably avoiding the hold at all costs. Pierce, or it's you... the last place they went after they dumped the body. Sorry, go ahead. No, <laughs> Pierce, you uh, move to yeah, a he's door. He's going to go through this door, assuming that it meets up with the hallway that they're going through. Ew, you found oh. the pooper. Not quite. It's the laundry. Oh my uh, god, is that Jan Cox's hat? Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tricot, it's tricot, tricot hat. Uh, um, pyramid heads. <laughs> no, it's tricorder hats is what they have in Star Trek when they're on an away mission. Okay, never mind. Um, this small space is filled with basins and piles of dirty sheets and uniforms. On the bench, one uniform lays waiting to be mended. It's riddled with hundreds of tiny holes. The nameplate reads Captain Farnor. Not touching that. And just goes right past all of that and just goes for the door. Okay. Uh, as he's doing that, Gort, Harmony, and Otto, there is another door um, to the south before you get to the uh, end of the hallway. I'm sorry, to the west when you get to the end of the hallway. Hmm. Would you like to open that up? Yes. As Here, I why not? past all the blood. Good, because I don't want to just do this twice, so there we go. Ah! Oh! Oh God! <laughs> Ew, it's the pooper. Oh! Ew, there's a poop monster. <laughs> oh my God! Why is it so big? <laughs> tiled, tiled from floor to ceiling, and is full of sinks, bathtubs, mirrored vanities. The back of this room is filled with filled with latrines. This is definitely the washroom and bathrooms, lavatories, privies, whatnot. Explain the body. You meet up with Pierce. I'm getting to it. Just wait. <laughs> In the center of the room is something larger than a normal human. Uh, most of its hair, skin, is translucent, and worm-like shapes can be seen beneath the surface. Ah! Uh, Harmony's just pointing at it. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the body is riddled with wounds. Several small worms have crawled free of the body, and you see are dead on the floor. That's fucked up! <laughs> this body is definitely... Larger than a normal person would be. Oh, oh yeah, it is. It okay. is larger than you, even Otto. Ooh. That's so fucked up. I'm gonna touch it. I wanna <laughs> go over to it. <laughs> Let me find a stick. <laughs> oh, she's you, a little tip of her pointy little shoe. You touch it, and similarly to you, it kind of makes a when you press into it. Huh. Worms kind of like move around in there, but nothing, nothing comes out of it. It's they're sort of just staying burrowed in this in this body. Ew! Can I tell like what it was? Make a uh, make a. God, I'm gonna say this. Make a medicine check. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say medicine check. I hate when I get ability checks, that, skill checks that make no sense in anything. I'm gonna give myself <laughs> inspiration. Star child. <laughs> <clears throat> you may want to burn that. Hey, you can't give yourself bardic inspiration, but Gort can give you inspiration. I can give okay. one. Oh, other than yourself, uh, shit. You're right. yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I rolled a 21 anyway. 21. 21. So it's like, wait up, man. I can give you. A... Oh, never mind. I can't do inspiration. No, I but uh, guidance. guidance is a D4 instead of a D6. So he was talking about bardic inspiration. Anyway, yeah. uh, with the 21 was not expecting you to get that high, but <laughs> now I've got to look up specific information about things. Goblin moan activate. Oh, I told this body, you. This body yeah. is so big that it looks pixelated. It's almost like they stretched the image out. Yeah. It's like they weren't... <laughs> you have heard of... Um... They should have vectored it. You have heard of... of... beings that this seems to resemble called okay. star spawns oh um you recognize you you notice uh you remember what morton kynan said about them stars mm -hmm. don't spawn these creatures such beautiful lights shouldn't be blamed for such balefulness oh uh pale signals of the body 
don't think... Just see if there's any other specific information that's not just, here's what these things all are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pierce is the one that said we should burn this. Uh, Pierce did, yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. Okay. Don't want this thing to live. Do you yeah, think, bye. well, do, do you think maybe the ship, although I suppose it didn't belong to them, did it belong to the people that were outside in the other room? Yeah, burn it! So, you have some of that gunpowder, no. Pierce? I, I don't have anything to... Uh, I've got a... Got a tinder. A candle? A uh, tinder box. Got a candle. Oh. Give me your tinder box. Gore, do you have I any have fire spells? I have a candle! Okay. I have sacred flame. <laughs> I, I don't what think is the candle gonna do? We don't even need the candle. All we need is a match. Yeah, actually, I do have control flames. Just okay. give me a match. I have create fly. Oh, oh that, my that, god! That, that does how, create fire. How create many adventures does it take? How many adventures does it take just, to turn a light bulb? Just give me a match. <laughs> just give me the match to the box. That's all you need. He, he oh, it's oh, almost Gort like does, neither of you Gort, Gort burned a body before. Oh my god! On the square where the Brighton As Harmony is. finally wrestles the tinderbox from Pierce, setting it up, be it hold a candle in one hand, tinderbox in another, getting ready to use the flint somehow, Gort just, oh wait, I got that, lights it on fire, it starts to burn. The writhing mass starts to just, you hear sort of tiny little screeches as the worms are obviously being burned oh, they're happy. alive. <laughs> um, none of them escape and eventually the fire does burn the remnants and the moving within the body stops. Well, the rest of the pure oxygen environment ignites as you have lit fire in a spaceship. Oh, I can't, uh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> control the flames. It, there you go. <laughs> Harmony throws you can... a match at Gort. She's annoyed. <laughs> I want him to burn things. Sorry, man. I, I I forget I could make fire. I was in the process of lighting the match. Yeah, Pierce takes the, the day is ruined. She's annoyed at him. Thank you. <laughs> okay, be on the lookout of any worm-filled corpses. I guess Gort pokes his head out and sees if there's anything in the corridor. In the corridor, uh, another statue uh, to the north, mm. and a large double door to the west. You want to touch that one, Gort? You want to touch it? Yes, yes, I do, man. This he one uh, appears to be a to it, so he's close enough and sends out another pseudopod. Yep, yeah. this one is a feminine elven figure framed by a full moon. No, let's see a pattern of these statue a few more times. Moons. Statue kind of wobbles a little bit, but no worms come out of it. Have to be within ten feet. Yep, you're fine. What's it taste like? Hello. Hello. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. You. You touch it. I can't hear anybody. Oh. I, I can hear everyone fine, so it's just us. Yeah, I can. I can hear folks. Me too. You touch the statue, and you are now deaf. Yeah. Oh, oh, now I can hear things again. Okay, right, there you what go. I miss. So, yeah, the oh, statue... It was, it was amazing. Uh, the statue wobbles a little bit. No worms come out. It is of a feminine elven figure framed by a full moon. That's a lot of Fs. <laughs> is it androgynous? It is feminine. It's elven. Yeah. I go up to the actual statue itself and just poke at it and see if there's anything in it. Nope, nothing comes out. All right. It's just the statue, man. We know. <laughs> oh, I'm having flashbacks to that uh, game we did with the statues in that um, observatory. Oh, <laughs> or the library. Were you all aged? No, yeah. Were you all aged? Aged? No, that was a woman that was tied to the statue, and you all aged like sixty years. Oh, that, yeah, that was a nice one, Dale. I'm in uh, yeah. I Spire Peak, where um, like there was these statues in that um place and. Everyone was just obsessed with these statues, trying to figure out what they yeah. do, and they didn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you think he's going to touch every statue he sees for the yes, rest of yes, his life? Yes, yes, I do. 
<laughs> just, just let him do it. Court, do you open the door? I guess so. I'm right here. All right. Opening wait, this, wait, you wait, see... Wait. Oh, yeah? Where are no, you? You said wait. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, he yeah. puts like his head up against it. I mean, he doesn't really need... He can just put his hand up against it. He tries to see if he like feels something through the door. Make a perception check. I'm going to say a disadvantage as you are inside of a newt suit. Oh, that'd be a flat roll then. Yep, go for it. I just it, it does that automatically. Twenty one then, because we we'll take the first one. Uh, still high enough. There, there appears to be. There feels like there's movement in there. Very subtle movement. Not people walking back and forth or anything, but like something is in there. Hmm. Plus eleven perception check. Jeez. I'm a blob. I see everywhere around me, man. <laughs> I lift up the top of the suit, uh, uh, an appendage it comes out, squeezes through the door, and then the uh, one of the googly eyes just floats through it uh, to peek in through the other side of the door. Googly Unfortunately, googly. I can't see through the pseudopods. Yeah. <laughs> However, would you like to open the door, or would you like to do something else? I'm going to open the door. All right. Bring my musket behind him. Okay. Opening, uh, oh, this is an open dining hall lined with long tables and bench and seats for benches and seats for a uh, crew of 30. There are 13 slain crew, which are not depicted on the map, have been sat at each of the dining tables. Their bodies slumped forward, so their hands press against the table with their hands clasped together in front of them like some grotesque prayer. You see uh, two very large hulking creatures, not unlike the one that you saw and burned just before. They turn at you. Oh, I thought that was just like a person. Nope, that's body. why they were big. Okay. Well, I mean, just like a big person. And I need everybody to roll initiative. I thought it was a big boy. I was going first Literally this time. the exact same roll I got last yeah. time. Consistency! <sighs> These are some slow boys. They're huge. Yeah. And I'm going to use that. Let's do. Uh, Store Forged. Otto, you were up first. Oh, they both s did the same uh, same roll there at the bottom. Okay. Otto, you were up first. All right. So I got in ten feet. I have bursting arrow. I'm still gonna have my uh, arcane shots real quick. All right. Got. Piercing arrow. No, don't do that to Pierce. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot Pierce! <laughs> and it gets on top of the crossbow bolt like Ant Man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna step forward. Attack the one with the white dot. Okay. Or 31. 31 will hit. Um, and I'm gonna, as the bullet hits it, it erupts in a, uh, kind of a, a shadowy cloud. And we'll cast Shadow Arrow. arrow. Um, All right. Wait, even at level 13, I only have two arcane shots. Kind of stinks. Yeah, but they come back in a short rest. That's yeah. the thing. Um, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I believe you do have the ability that gets you... If you are out of arcane shots at the start of combat, you get another one back. I think that's level 13 or something, like level 11. Oh, could well, be higher. I'm not familiar with that. Either way, well, you'll, it'll, if it's on your 
sheet. It'll be on your sheet. Well, uh, I'll, anyways, I'll look, so, next, I'll look what's on my term, yeah, but he right. needs a wisdom saving throw. This is a wisdom explodes. save, I apologize. Wisdom save. That's the DC. Well, I'll let him know. He rolls a 15. 15, which beats it. But he does take... Uh, seven extra damage. As for the damage, he will take. I need, yeah. <laughs> fourteen plus seven. Okay, is the fourteen? Um. Uh, what is the type of damage for seven? Uh, do do it is piercing. I think. Pretty sure it's piercing. Yeah, piercing. And this okay. is this is a magic weapon. So this is interesting. It has resistances to non-magical attacks. This is an attack. No, yeah, that's magic. It's magic. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to that. Okay. Um, so what was the type of damage for the seven? Uh, I think it's force. Okay, you're good then. No, it's, actually, right. no, it's actually psychic. Oh, it is psychic. Um, from that... As instead of the seven being done to him, he sort of like he, he he sort of shakes it off, and then you you hear a uh, um the one to the north actually kind of shudders as that that sort of psychic energy hits him, and it seems to have taken some of that damage instead. Okay. All right. We'll fire anyway. again. All right. Attack number two. Attack number two. 14. 14. Uh, misses as it just uh, uh, impacts. That was damage, not, not the hit. Yeah, that was damage, yeah. That was my roll to hit. Oh, I thought I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not a player that much. Um, 26. 26, 26 hits. And then you can do that 14 damage. Okay. And I shall. One more time. 24. 24 hits. For 16 damage. Okay. And I shall snap my fingers into an astral spark, which does an additional 5 force. Alright. Thank the Hippo oh, Gods! Oh, hold on a sec. It's. Oh, I screwed up. They all have the same health. To... Are they, are, are yeah, they, I, I did that. Like... Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that I have to take it off that because it keeps them the same. So Oop. this one should be plus seven, and this one should just be the. There, all fixed. I just got to make sure any other doubled up enemies don't do that as well. All right, that is my turn. Okay, next, Gort. Mm. Gort just kind of sizing the things up. You know what? And I would say that that thing took a lot. They both took some damage, didn't they? Um. Oh, yeah, because one took. Yes, they are both damaged. All right, then he just kind of raises up his little star sickle and just flicks it, and you hear this dissonant tone. You're not really sure what it is, but you do know that it tolls the dead. All right, which one are you aiming at? I'm going to be aiming at the... I'm going to be aiming at the white one. Okay. And I believe it's a wisdom save, correct? Yes. Where it is. Natural one. <laughs> All right. Uh, then it's going to be taking... 24 necrotic damage. 24 necrotic. Get the bra. Nice. 24. Hurting. Uh, and then he steps back around the corner. So he's out of sight. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Not this moment. Okie doke. Harmony, 
you hear commotion and uh, a lot of stuff. A couple of gunshots coming around from the corner. He's in the way. I'm sure you can. Still you can see pa- You can see yeah. past Otto. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm, what do I want to do? How's is, is how's he looking? Is he hurting this one? Up uh, the white one. The one at the top has only been hit by that that sort of reflected damage. The one at the bottom is okay. is been taking damage. Uh, they're not. Blo- he's not bloodied yet, but he's you're, he's feeling stuff. Well, well, well. Let me get a look at the menagerie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will. I have to remember what centered on a point. I have to remember which one is centered on me and which one is on a point. Okay. I'm going to, at fourth level, cast Shatter. <laughs> yeah. And I want to center it. So it hits these two guys. Okay. Wait, is that enough space? 60 feet, yeah. That's... Okay. I need a con save! Con save! Looking for a 17. The... We'll say the white one first. Uh huh. Um, 12? I, I, yep. Yes, Gort? Hmm? Never mind. What? Okay. Good. Hey. Let me play my character, damn it! <laughs> okay. He's using help. Uh. The white one fails. The pink one fails. Woo! Uh, 3D. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The pink one. The pink one saves. So one fail. Well, one he'll save. take. He'll take half. Uh, uh, whoa! Uh, add a d6 to that. Can you? you know? Why? Oh, uh, so subtract a d6 from the. Yeah. Huh? I'll do it. He's he's basically he's a wheel and woe. He can basically uh, uh, he's okay. he's hurting the the save. My uh, d six. He still passes. Are they made of inorganic material? <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit. Are they made of no. stone, crystal, or metal? No. No, no. They're definitely okay. some sort of flesh. Well, I just had to ask. I know, and I'm just I'm telling you. All right, so five d eight damage. The 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 one who saved will just take half. Whoa, that's a good one too. Twenty three, yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah. So the other one will take half of that. So white failed, so he takes twenty three. The other one is going to take eleven. Whoops. Let's see what's Okay, anything else? Um I'm going to look at Pierce and say, Hurry up and get in there <laughs> Give him part of inspiration. Pierce is so barkly inspired. A, you'll have a D ten. Ooh, nice D ten. Mm-hmm. Joey, I that's the RPG. that's the one die number you're still missing on your little icons. I, I actually added it. Um, oh, I might I might have to re-download it or something. Well, like I looked into it and like I have to like disable it and then re um, yeah. resubmit it. And like I just kind of after a while I kind of forgot. But I, yeah, um, I did make them so. Okay, yeah, because I noticed the zero, well, the extra zero was gone or something. You had an extra something in there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, okay, Pierce, you're now up. Um, I do not know if I want to go in there because um, my only options are melee, and it takes all of my movement to get to him. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, no, never mind. All right, so if I... you don't want to be in there alone either. <laughs> uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, ten. He's that one's closer. Um, yep. I will rush in. Wonder what exactly these things are. I have no idea. Are you a swashbuckler rogue? Among other things, yes. Oh no. <laughs> I, I thought a swashbuckler was only do one-handed, or is that just an option? He's got feats. Okay. Yep, I've got two feats. Yeah. Well, I know. I know they get special <laughs> swashbuckler abilities if they have one. Yeah. Uh, I get. Uh, sneak attack, uh, 
Um, I get sneak attack when the enemy is alone, yep. which is that. Let's just roll all my attacks. Yeah. Go ahead. 19 <laughs> hits. The 12 doesn't. The natural 20 does. Yeah! However, oh. however, you can't... Dis technically, you're supposed to do these one at a time and then decide if you have your um, uh, sneak attack added to it. Uh, well, it would be the first hit of the round. Yeah. So it's actually I up to you when you add it, but... Yeah, since this way, I'm going to say it's going to have to be the first one because... Yeah, yeah, I was intending to be that way anyway. Okay, cool. All right, so two hits. One of them is a crit. All right, that's the uh, first one. So uh, 24 damage. Ouch. What type? Um, piercing. Is it magical? Uh, and magical. Okay. Uh, and the second one is uh, 21 uh, with no sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, that that hurt it. Uh, I am them stepping away without uh, attracting an attack of opportunity. But I can only move five more feet, so okay. Uh, move here. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> I just had a thought. Yes. Did we just burst into this room and start attacking these things, or did they attack us first? They they snarl at you. They were going to oh, okay. go on the attack. Okay. So they were yeah. eating people. <laughs> If, if, if generally, if I say roll the roll initiative, and there's definitely some sort of shit going. Okay. No, I couldn't. I couldn't remember if it was just Joey like barging okay, into yeah. the room, or if they were like getting ready this to was come a, at us. Where if this is, this is a crew of giant monkey people? I mean, it might have been. Yeah. Otto was going to shoot and eat space unicorns at one point. So was I? I forget. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't remember that, so it's not true. Go back, go back and watch the episode. <laughs> Um, God, Mark, I can't believe you're gaslighting Joey right now. It's true. It was. I'm not making it up. I don't remember um, that. <laughs> Although it doesn't sound out of the realm of possibility. No, it really the doesn't. The pink one. Uh, Look, we were stranded out. We're there stranded is. out in wild space. Had no food. Yeah. Saw some unicorns. You're gonna shoot them. Yeah. Looks oh, like we're eating right. good tonight. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the pink one is up. Uh, it turns to you, Pierce. Um. Boop -a -doop. It's going to basically it's not gonna move. Uh and it is going to basically take its two long arms and just come straight down at you uh with two attacks. The first one That is that is the word multi attack. Uh does a seventeen hit? No. No, it misses. Does a twenty eight hit? Just barely. You take 19 bludgeoning damage. The, oh no, the, su <laughs> the sudden sort of uh, this attack sort of caught you off guard. You feel like if you got hit by the other one, some some something would have like thrown you off. All right, Nimbly dodged to one side. Wasn't expecting a hit from the uh, from the other fist. But it's gonna it's gonna crawl up here. Uh, get right next to you. And uh, it's going to pound on the table, this table over here, as it uh, passes by. The white one's going to come up, and maybe there. Auto, same thing to... Uh, actually, no, it's going to go ahead and do a Reaping Arms attack. Um, basically, it can make, it can make a uh, attack against all creatures within 10 feet of it, which is both of you. So, separate attacks. First one on Pierce. It's a 26 hits. Yes, probably. 13 bludgeoning damage. And 27 on auto. Yes. For 11 bludgeoning damage. I need each of you to take a... Make a dex saving throw. Let's check to see. I thought I maybe took a feat that reduces damage, but I remember I decided not to. Um, okay. So, yeah, how, you... how much is that? Uh, 11. 11. Bludgeoning. And each of you need to make a dex saving throw. All right, both of us? Yep, because you're both hit. Oh, um, how much did I get? Oh, you were you were hit for uh, 13. A 26 to hit for 13 damage on Pierce. I rolled 25. <clears throat> 25, you're fine. Pierce, you uh, are not... Don't forget, you, are you not have a... You ha you oh, have, yeah. You have... Bardic Inspiration. 
Okay. Yeah, but, uh, if you want to use it, you don't have to. But just a second. Saying. Yeah. Um, I feel like that. Uh, got something. Level thirteen. The characters we haven't played, really. Pretty sure rogues can decide just like to dodge and ah, not take there it is. damage. Uh, I have something called Remarkable Athlete that allows me to add plus three uh, to a um, uh, strength dex or con I do not have uh, proficiency in, and that includes dex. So that is technically a 13, um, just in case I'm also going to do the 10. Still fails. Uh, 20. What the? Why is this? Sorry, I'm trying to fix something. What the? Oh, I see why. Because you put it out. Sorry, I'm trying to fix your uh, icon. Your token. There we go. Now I can see your health. Ah. Uh, 20 will pass. You do not. You managed to just think about how Harmony said, get in there. And as you were regretting it, you're like, nah, screw this. <laughs> And you you resist being hit by them. At, Just before Otto, it. <laughs> before Otto can come up, coming out from the tables are some wormy sort of masses. Not um, this oh, over here. Gosh. Not um, not a pile of worms. It's something else entirely. And they are going to be added to the initiative. They also rolled like crap. Otto, you're up. Okay. We'll see these worms come up front of the table. And I'm gonna nope that. And... Uh, hit the one at the bottom. For a 30. 30 will hit. 14 damage. 14. He's looking bloody. Okay, so attack him again. 25. 25 hits. Or 17. 17. Still alive. Why won't you die? We'll do it again. For 29. 20, 29 hits. I'm gonna re -roll it's just that. what you need. How do you want to do this? Okay, I was going to... For the heck of it, I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Uh, that would be so funny if you got less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, th yeah, uh, 13. I hate worms! <laughs> oh, I was attacking the worms. Oh, I'm sorry. Go back. But that's fine, uh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I killed a big thing, not the worms. Yeah, the yeah. worms. <laughs> worry about those last. Like People worms. slumped over on the table. Anything else, Otto? Oh, then I go, oh, worms. <laughs> um, Ooh, tomato. Oh, okay. worms. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna <laughs> just give this thing another target instead of Pierce. Okay. Go, oh, hey, big boy. Look, look at me. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> big boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just the, you there, big boy, and then Mark going, BAH! <laughs> Corey, you're up. <laughs> um, I'm, am I with, is the, can this thing see me if I'm, since I'm, but I'm on the other side of a wall, or? You cannot see each other at the moment. Uh, you don't really know where he went, but you can kind of guess. Uh, but currently you are not in line of sight with him. So I can move away. And I For, uh, yes, uh, correct, I'm saying that it wall. is. Uh, yeah, there's a wall there, does. Yeah. He's just um, making sure that, because technically, if he could reach around the thing, it could be hit. But yeah, there is a single wall, and the doors are open, but you're fine. You can move away with him without... A... If you move back first and don't move into it, if you move south, he will then be in range and yeah, see you. But you yeah, can so move the other south. way first. How's that? Uh, yep, that works. All right. I'm going to move that way so I can see the big guy, and then I'm going to... Since things have gotten a bit more busy, 
I'm actually going to do starry form as my Fireball. bonus action. All right, going to stars. Stars. <laughs> And I am actually, for my first form, I'm going to choose Archer form. Archer! And so that's going to be a... That's going to be... I believe it's that's plus just, damage? No, I mean, I, I get to shoot this off. Oh, right, right, right. 26 will hit. That just happens on activate for 20... Holy crap! Radiant damage. 20 radiant will work. And I'm not even done. Yeah. That was just my bonus action. Putting Otto to shame. I, no, yeah, can he attack three times? I don't know, think so. No. Uh, you <laughs> know what? Since it's da still damaged, I'm going to do Toll of the Dead again. Okay. Uh, wisdom save? Yep. Seven. It was real crap. Not even close. Yeah. It's about time those Tolls of the Dead are working. Minus 17. 17 necrotic. Necrotic. It's looking bloody. As blood is coming out of its its ears, as you've just kind of like it, the 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 bell tone that you've done. It just kind of like heard it from the inside. The bells, the bells. And then I move back to over here so that I'm. Yeah, and he feet. actually does get attack of opportunity on you now because he has got a ten foot reach. Uh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yep. Uh, does a twenty hit? A twenty so, does hit. You only take eight bludgeoning damage, however. So, not too bad. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Think he might have damaged the newt suit. Harmony. Mm -hmm. Squeeze that box. <laughs> I'm gonna step on his corpse. Uh, that should be enough space. You Maybe. have. No, nope, you're good. No, I'm. I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. Yeah. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Do my little finger oh. guns. Pew pew. Wh which ones at whom? Because I don't believe they have to be at the same target. Oh. Um. Well. Well, hell. Uh, I mean, I, I want to focus on him. Can I do it, like, one at a time to see if he falls? <laughs> mm, <laughs> no, no, uh, I don't think you can, yeah, because okay. you're, you're, you're attacking all at once. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I'll just keep them focused on him, because I'm... Right, focus fire on yeah. that. Go ahead and give me the first one. <clears throat> oh, 27. 27 will hit. Fuck yeah, it will. Oh! What Eldritch horrors did you see to turn your music box into, you know... Ten all damage! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's the max you can do with that, but you got two more yeah. shots. It's still alive. Yeah, uh, it's yeah still I'm going, hurt. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. 23 hits. 23, 4... Oh, that was a 9. That's garbage. It's fine, one damage. 9... Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23 hits for one damage. Yep, he's yeah. still alive. I still got one more. Do you have, like, a subwoofer in your hand? No, it's finger guns. <laughs> 25. <clears throat> 25 hits. Hits for... Oh, for fuck's sake! You... <laughs> Why did I turn what into the Aster there? <laughs> one damage. Is... One whole damage. Oh. It's AC is awesome. My token will fix that. That's weird. Fucking hell's bells, man. Hell's bells. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it is I hate still alive. One damage. It, anything else? No, that's all I have. <laughs> bonus action. Oh, okay. so like all of my bonus action is Spartan Inspiration. Ah. <sighs> Bone of Kiss. Oh, I gotta, I gotta turn that up. Give me one sec. I'll, I'll wait until after combat. This blue one is going to come up to you, Harmony. Uh, no! Actually, that's not the one that's up. This red one's going to come up to you, Harmony. Uh, stay away. Uh, it is going to... 
you see it sort of like you realize that your chatter had hurt these things. Okay. This is surprising. Oh. He's like, oh yeah, they were in they were in oh, the room. That makes you sense. Didn't see yeah. them. But you see them and they sort of just like um wither on their their uh wither around or along their cells and seem to be like regenerative regenerative. Ew. And their health comes back at the start of their turn. Or at least the health, the damage that you did. The little worm things. Well, then why did you up. bother to tell me that? I damaged because you can, them because you can see it. No, I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm saying it, not harmony me. Uh, you're, you're saying the little, the little wormy things. Yeah. Generate health. Yeah. Yep. The this one will take two claw attacks on harmony. First one. No. Twenty one. Oh. Yeah. You, you take um. Five slashing and seven necrotic. Oh! Not like Rude. you're a wizard. You're... <laughs> Second attack. Does an eleven hit? No. Nope. Seems to get messed. Uh. Then it has another ability that it might be able to do. A worm launches from the spawn. This writhing mass. Uh. Towards you, Harmony. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, 25. 25. You are fine. It does not uh, land on you. You dodge it out of the way. Can um, it land on the one behind me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's wild. Oh, they're flying out. <laughs> Just, so like, a little worm, a worm at me? a little worm does uh, land behind you. Ah! And is is just writhing around. Ah! Gross. Uh, and I'm just gonna say that I'm just gonna roll a random uh, rolls initiative thirteen. But it's got like a minus that, so it's gonna go. Oh, here. this is a creature. Yep. Sorry, I've never used these monsters before, so that was interesting. Um, with that, that is up. Pierce, you are now up. Well, that happened. Um, oh, hey, giant monster. Um, I'm going to focus more attention on the thing that can uh, that can crush me with its hand, and uh, go after it. I'll um, I'll go one at a time this time. I'm assuming a 27 hits. 27 hits. Uh, that would be 24 damage. That's exactly what you need. How do you want to do this? Um, just. And we'll say, um, dodges the hand, uh, jumps up to land on top of the hand and give it enough of a, of a lift to, uh, to dive up to its face and just stab the, uh, the rapier straight through its skull. Boom. Headshot. Uh, then... Turn around to assess the situation. You see worms being thrown at Harmony and another little writhing worm thing in the corner. <laughs> Uh, dive bomb from the air and go the last two uh, with this one. Alright. 24 will hit and a 15 will also hit. They will both hit. Yay! Uh, 11 and 8. And it's 19. Alright. It takes all of that. And then hops back uh, to over here. Okay. The next one is up. I gotta turn that off. Uh, it gets its health back. Rude. Actually, no. It it, it only gets a certain amount of it, so I, I put too much back. So there's one more damage than the one near Harmony. <laughs> Blue is gonna go, and it's gonna go up to Otto. 
two claw attacks on Otto. Otto, does a 14 hit? No. Does a natural 20 hit? Well, I think that hits everything, Mark. <laughs> um, you take 10 slashing and 12 necrotic for a total of 22. 22, all right. Another worm launches at you, Otto, from this thing. A disadvantage? Uh, no, but you get... You have to make a dexterity saving throw. Alright. Oh, 17. 17 passes. It just lands on you. Ooh. I'm gonna... Do these worms look familiar? They're similar to the ones that you've been looking around. They are definitely not earthworms nor gym. Okay. And that's its <laughs> turn. I mean, that's been Otto's <laughs> quest this whole time to find Jim. <laughs> Otto, uh, you are up. I'm going to turn that off. Otto. I don't care about this worm. I'm going after the thing it came from. So I will pull out my greatsword. The Fist of Dante. I will attack the thing in front of me. 25. As you take it out, you say, Look, Dante, worms! Yeah. I, I told, told you they you were real. I told you they were real. <laughs> um, 25. Invisible. There, uh, that hits. All right. 13. Okay. Sorry, it's finally fixing up the thing. Uh, 13. All right. Uh, an 18. 18 will also hit. Or 11. And and you don't get disadvantage for being right next to him because you took the... Well, I'm using... This is my uh, sword. Oh, right, right. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, 18 will hit for 7. I'm sorry, for 11. 11. And I'll do a Astral Spark on that. So an extra 5. Right. That's 5. Spark of Dante. Yeah. Dante's with me. Oh, and one more. Um, Fighters, man. Fighters. Yeah. 25, 4. Double hit. Another 11. Okay. Hit for 11. See, that's it. Anything else? Um, I believe that's it. Are these things still, still standing? Oh, so that fell on the ground. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. It's the only damage it took. Yeah, uh, that's it. Gort, you're up. Uh, how's everybody looking health wise? Well, I'm missing mildly my, hurt. I'm missing like forty hit points. Uh, injured, but not uh, not super much. All right, then. Okay, Gort sees Otto looking kind of hurt. And shifts to chalice mode. So he and then bonus action. A glass. Yeah, drink from your chalice. <laughs> oh, you don't actually. It's just like the image of a like the chalice uh, constellation appears on him. But you don't see it because of the suit. But choose, choose wisely. <laughs> and does uh, bonus action healing word. All right. Oh, you, there's, Dante, there's gonna be, healing me. Oh. Uh, there's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna do it at a second level, actually. Nope. All right. There's a couple of things that are gonna happen because I'm in Chalice. So, first things first, he's gonna just with the spell. He's gonna get nine healing, nine back. Then, the because I'm in. Uh, Go ahead. Then, because I'm in Chalice, he gets an additional. 13. Okay. And because of my moon sickle, he gets an additional. Uh, let's see here. One. Oh, thank you, Dante. So <laughs> he gets 23 health back. Not bad for a second level spell. Yeah. And I still have action. Yep. I'm going to. This thing is damaged. I'm just. just Yes, the blue the blue thing is damage. Hold the dead. All right. Worms, wisdom save, nineteen. 
fails. Wow. Fourteen necrotic damage. All right, it's looking bloodied as bloodied can, worms can be. Yes. And Gorse is just gonna go back around the corner. All right. No need for him to be sticking out. Harmonious. That's me. Is that your full uh, name? <laughs> no, I just. No. <laughs> <laughs> My real name is Anita Walt. Well, I guess Harmony is technically her real name now, isn't it? Uh, okay. Well, this one's been cut. Oh, mm, oh, but this little weird thing. I don't trust it. Oh, I hate only having one attack per action. Ah, fuck it. I want to. I want to. I'm gonna take my little rapier and poke right. it through the stupid bunch of worms. Yeah, it's not good for just the like, for the bar to like, be alone in the middle of the room. Just like when you stabbed possessed, yeah. um. Chopper. Yeah. Uh, oh, you have to roll for that, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Remember, remember how to play D and D. No, I don't. Twenty-five. That's why your character had left in the other game. Uh, twenty-five will hit this thing. I'm getting a better one, I promise. <laughs> uh, so it's not going to be a lot of damage, but you know. Yeah, oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> not bad. Oh, I love maxing on my hit dice. Nice. 12 damage. It takes um, 12, but still, uh, still up. Piss. I mean, it wasn't bleeding, so. I mean, this thing oh. seems tough. I hit it like three times. And... With Dante. Yeah. Uh, can I free action step on this fucking thing? I'll, uh, if you want to like a... leave that thing, I'll say it landed like at your feet. I only put it over there so it wouldn't do it. So we'll say that, I'll, I'll say you can take an unarmed strike as a free action against this worm. Yeah. I just want to step on it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> There's a 16. Hit. Yep. Does my foot hit the mark? It does. Oh, what wait, I have a zero. Cause I what don't... <laughs> wait, what? I have a negative yeah. one to my strength. Yeah, I'm just know. stepping on it. You it's just step the, on the worm. worm. It's still moving. Ha! <laughs> 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 I had, a, I had a wizard that had the same problem. They, they oh. had the same at strength as you, and uh, I totally didn't you, even think of that. Unless you're a monk or or uh, have tavern brawler, you've got a set score based off your strength. Yeah. And oh. if it's in the negatives, it becomes clearly I've zero. never played a character with like less than ten strength. Yeah. Clearly. Anything yeah. else, Harmony? Oh damn it! No. Okay. Of... You're, you're hopping up and down on, on on the worm, and all you're doing is making accordion noises. Why I'll isn't that, it working? <laughs> I'll say that you you kick it away oh. instead, and oh. uh, it starts kind of come back over to you. But it's only moving about one foot. It dashes and moves two feet. Ah! <laughs> As does this one. <laughs> um. Next up are the the red spawn. Uh, it gets some health back. As it's going to come around here, so it can be flanking with the worm. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it'll just move up here a little bit, <laughs> and it's going to take two claw attacks. Natural one, no. and a fourteen on harmony. No, fourteen. They it's going to do miss. another another burrowing worm. Oh, I need you to make a, a, a DC eleven. DC eleven. Dex save. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, dex save of eleven. Are you? F are you fucking for real right now? Are you for real right now? Let's see what the worm does. This is new. I'm so mad. Uh, tad pull. It tad basically, pull, tad pull. basically, yeah. It basically latches onto your skin. You are a har I, humanoid, are you? No, no he's a. I don't know. Are constructs. you a construct or are you a har humanoid? I don't know. Auto gnomes are constructs. Are they? Uh, is yeah. that? Auto known race oh, in the top left. Yeah. I am. What's your type construct? Woo! You're a construct. This thing does not affect you. It launches <laughs> hit. It launches at you, and this one tries to dig in, and then then just um uh you just can't the, like, like burrow burrow, and then just <laughs> falls to the ground and just like lands on a tiny shard of glass and dies. <laughs> Here, you're up. Explodes. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'm so, uh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> you are now flanking. Actually, uh, I am going to uh, let's just try to help clear the room. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, starting from my right, uh, bottom right, and down, I'm just going to stab everything. Okay. Called clockwise. 28 will kill the worm. 17 will kill the worm. 22 will hit. 19 damage. Nice heart. It's still up. Hop over here onto this table. No attack of opportunity. Nope. Okay, anything else? Uh, that'll be it for now. The next spawn is up, getting some of its health back. From Pierce, its you're on worm up. duty. This one's going to come over here just to try and surround you, and it's going to take same thing, two claws. Dada. 8 and 24. The 24 will hit, I Dada. assume. Dada. yeah. Yeah. Uh, seven slashing and eleven necrotic, so a total of eighteen. And then go ahead and make a dex save. Dexterity save. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. The worm falls to the ground at your feet. And I deleted my other worms. Good job, me. Oh, did I pass? Uh, Good. Yep, you passed. Oh, no, you are now up. Don't shoot worms at me. And I'll use my sword again against them. Uh, 16. Six, 16 hits. Four. 15. It's looking bloodied after that. I rolled that like it rolled a bunch of dice. Wasn't sure why. <laughs> Yeah, um, 15, that's good. Yep. Attack again. So, hold on, two, two, here we go. Oh, because it's 2d6. Yep. I'm used to having, like, will... like, one roll. Um, a 12. 12 will miss, 12 will miss. Do I have... That's a great sword. Uh... I have something about my weapon. What did I actually roll on that? You rolled a 12 to hit? Yeah, what was my actual dice roll? Oh, uh, I can't... Three? Because I, I popped out the chat. Yeah, I Let rolled a three. I it. Three and a nine. I think I roll, if I roll one or two, I can re-roll with, oh. my, with my feet. You, do you have a third attack? I do. I'm just making sure here. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry. Slowing things down. No worries. Where are my feet? Here they are. Oh, and damage dice. Okay. Okay. Yep, so I'll roll one more time. Uh, thir 13. 13 also misses. Darn. Dante just didn't want to get out of bed today. He's not even supposed to be here. Yeah, he isn't. Anything else, Otto? Yeah, I don't want to waste my action surge on these guys, right. so nope. Court. <clears throat> Is that thing still alive? Yep. Both of them. Okay, then I am going to switch over to archer mode again. Okay. Um, I don't think this counts. This would you say this counts as activation or not? No. You're not activating, you're just switching, I believe. Yeah, so then I still get it as a bonus action archer form, so okay. that's going to be a do you, 20. Do you do, like a, a, we'll do, do you do like a magical transformation each time you switch <laughs> forms? And turn into yeah. a secret agent? It's, it's, it's all inside the newt suit, so all the lights and stuff are just floating around in the newt suit. Yeah, so, so you're, just, you're, you're seeing, the, you're seeing my, the like little eye ports light up various <laughs> colors. Uh, natural 20 will hit. For 20 radiant damage. How do you want to do this? Like a flaming, like a shining bolt comes out of one of the eyes and just goes right through it. 
as you aim, maybe this, this whirling mass of worms has a center, and it must as it hits, and the worms stop moving. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to try and I'm going to move up. Okay. So that I'm facing the red one, and I'm going to toll the dead that one. All right. Wisdom save. You, well, you get a uh, two spell attacks. No, the first one was his archer. Oh, okay. Archery okay. Bonus okay. Action. Gotcha. Twenty-three necrotic. It is barely alive after that. Well, maybe, well, no, it's it's heavily bloodied. So <laughs> it's heavily burial. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's it. Harmony, take this thing down. <coughs> Stab. Stab, stab. Stab. Stab, stab. stab. Oh, you you, damn, you have to... Close. 28 oh, yeah. hits. Well, I would hope so. That's better. Nine. Nine. Still alive. Oh, for... F I, if it has one HP left, Mark, I'm gonna... Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. <sighs> it better not. Oh, shit, I forgot. What? Wait, I have psychic blades. I always oh. fucking forget about this. Okay. Uh, when you hit a creature level attack, you, you can expend, blah, 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 expend one use of your bardic inspiration to deal an extra 5d6 psychic damage. Jesus Christ! Let's go! Alright. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> 15 psychic damage. It had 3 HP left. How do you want to do this? For fuck's <laughs> sake. God damn. I, uh, I, I just, I want to shish kebab that thing. I saw Pierce do it earlier and I thought it looked cool. So I want to shish kebab it. All right. And like hold it up on my... You, tw you yeah. twirl it up like spaghetti. I yeah. learned it from you, Pierce. <laughs> I'm gonna watch and it slide down my rapier. Otto falls over and crushes the last <laughs> worm. The worm has one HP and minus and and minus four to all of its stats. <laughs> With that, we're out of initiative. Gross. I hated all of that. I technically still have story for him for like 10 more minutes, I think. Okay. We what check. were those things? There were, uh, there were wormmen. Yeah, what are these things? Take a closer look. They are known as Spawn of Christ? Of Christ? Chris? <laughs> Spawn of Cus Christ? Spawn of Cus? Is it, is it from the Lord? K-Y-U-S-S. -S. <laughs> uh, what about the tall things? Yeah, what were the worms? <laughs> <laughs> so the worm, the worm writhing masses were spawn of Cus. So they're basically. Well, I'm mean, asking like, what am I looking at? I'm yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Um, yeah, they're basically just like some sort of like horrible like person, like a spawn that was basically just covered in worms and, and, and whatnot. I don't know the specifics. The other thing... Like, like uh, somebody's, uh, somebody's body was just so full of the things that they started animating it. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Possibly. Yep, uh, nope. The yeah, other thing worms. is... The other thing is the saw, saw spore spawn that you saw in the other, the other thing. But this one looks like it was at some point a bugbear. The worms had taken it over. And that's why oh. it has... It's larger. Oh, that explains the big arms. Gross. It almost tried to go in my skin. Not that I had my voice changed. Oh, no, yeah, no. Not that I have skin for it to go through. Like, I want to look under each table, make yeah. sure that there aren't more of these gross little creatures. I'm Other than the... going to need to take a, a bath after all this. Other than the dead bodies, there are of the other crewmen that were here that were not star spawn or whatever. Uh, there's nothing else that you notice. Uh, there is a door to the west. All right. So, like, um, do we do do we know that these are star spawn now? As, as yes, or characters? you may not know specifically what they are, but they're something related to the worms that you're seeing. Have basically taken over the body, and this is the stat block representing them. That is very close to it, if it's not that exactly. So, well, I mean, I mean do our characters know yeah, the word character. star star spawn now? Are yeah, we'll we'll say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then star spawn. 
creatures from the darkness of wild space and beyond. They mess with the wrong god, disturbing his corpse. Yeah, that never ends well. well. To be fair, we disturbed a corpse by burning it. Yeah, it was little, though. <laughs> it was roughly the same size, wasn't it? I'm talking about, like, you know, the god corpse. Oh, no. I'm t oh, oh, okay. I thought you were talking about that one in the bathroom. The, yeah, the one in the bathroom is another one of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can burn all these as you want. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, open the door? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> you find <laughs> Otto's favorite room, the kitchen. Christian, you gotta run forward. <laughs> Watch out, hippo! <laughs> a large kitchen designed to service a crew of dozens. Uh, their wooden surfaces are largely clean. Uh, it looks like whatever was happening in here was... Nobody was in here when whatever attack happened. Oh, thank God. Um, there is uh, a, a charred burn smell emanates from a pot on the stove. I dare you to go open it. Dinner's ruined! I hurry oh. to the to, to the stove. <laughs> oh, the tragedy! <laughs> I can't wait for it to be ahead. <laughs> Over here. Oh. You look into the uh, the uh, spell of burnt thing. pie. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't like when you do that, Mark. Don't flip my icon. <laughs> I don't like when my art is facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Never flip an artist's art. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um. It looks like there are several worms that have been charred to death in here. They even got to the pie. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think the cook like caught, like lured some worms in here and like burnt them to death? Or maybe they were starving and that's all they had to eat. Well, there are a couple different cabinets, pantries. But once like in my oven. life, I have lost my appetite. <laughs> I close the uh, oven door. Gord, the... Gord hears that from over here and gets very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's got supersonic hearing. Um, dude, I've got, dude, I've got high perception. I can probably perception. That's yeah, how you hearing. perceive, not how you hear. No, perception is hearing. I, yeah, true. but through an entire kitchen and dining room and two with, thick with walls. A, with a twenty-seven, I he have has hearing. Yeah, yeah. Well, with twenty-six and twenty-seven, you have. Two and a half times as much hearing as a normal human. Gordon's got like supersonic hearing. <laughs> uh, anything else that you like doing this room? Um, but this, he said this place looks pretty undisturbed, though. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Maybe we'll look for a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Looking around, no, uh... Sorry. No, no, you actually open up some pantry things and you don't find much food uh, beyond things that would be prepared and cooked and whatnot, but you do find what appears to be a healer's kit oh. and an unopened bottle of potion of healing. Ah, so they actually follow, uh, follow a proper procedure and have a, a medical kit inside of, the ki of a kitchen. Oh yes, a medical kitchen, if you will. You're supposed to have one under the sink. <laughs> and a fire extinguisher. And a caveman. Um, yeah, my <laughs> doesn't have one of those. But... Okay. Alright, I'm going to put that in my inventory. Mine definitely should. Although, <laughs> w would a healer kit benefit another character better? A healer kit will just be good to have unless somebody's got a specific feat that lets them use them as essentially potions um yeah. everybody knows that you will have one so we'll just say that all right well let's put that in my inventory all right okay they even got to the kitchen and i come out of the room <laughs> crying <laughs> don't even the, the hot pepper survived <laughs> Which I like to do. Um, mm. Well, there's that stairway. There's another stairway that is just, that leads down. Yeah. And that's roughly all that's left that you have not really just glanced at. So, if you'd like to head on down. Give me a marching order. Oh, I don't. I don't front. 
I might do a um a second win just to regain some hit points here. Okay. Who's second? Um, the wind. <laughs> I think Harmony looks like she wants to be second. Harmony is second. Yeah. Then Gork's third. Pierce bringing up the rear as he does. So we will take a break after I reveal this. And at least, uh. Wait, hold on. Five, 13, 18. And I'll try to have a feat that gives me. When I do a heal, I get extra. Um, an extra dice, I think. Okay, you can take a look at that. Uh, so to set the scene, the staircase ends in a long hallway that stretches along the starboard side of the ship. Directly behind you, nestled between the staircases, is a room with a placard that reads Security. Um, this is obviously the door that's right here. Um, okay. To the left, another sign reads Officer's Quarters, which would be just around the corner here. And to the right... Immediate signage reads, The Chapel. What was the first door? Security. Security. There's not another doorway leaning down. Yeah, I'm trying to get that cut out. There you go. Well, and I there's bet, obviously further hallway. I bet the chapel, um, Nothing disturbing in there in a room in a ship full of horrors. Nope. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Uh, so let's take a break. All right. Grab a snack, use the bathroom, we'll come back and get on to the other half. Alright, can you go back to the homepage so I have a place to break? Thanks. <laughs> 